YouTube, you guys finally made it. So I'm here in San Diego, um, and I want to share with you because it's holiday time. Everybody's money stressed, financially stressed. I thought I would talk about a whole bunch of important things. So first thing we're going to cover is five steps that I'm using to make money online right now, today. Okay. I've been showing almost every day. I'll do it now. It's become a daily ritual on these live calls or not daily, but here's Stripe account. One of my businesses. Let's click it today. It's at, got to put my thumb on. It's made 18,000 today and 900,000, four dollars and 79 cents in the last uh, 30 days. I'll put that over there so you can see it. So this is something, by the way, this is a business that I don't even do any work on. Um, I have a business partner, we own a 50-50, and I probably work on it under an hour a month. So what I'm gonna share with you today, pay close attention, because no matter what anyone says, if people go, oh, I don't believe that's true or whatever, I know that I've done it, okay? so. My mom used to make like $18,000 a year when I was growing up and that made that today. So the opportunity is there. I don't know if you saw it. Jeff Bezos today became by far the richest man in the world. Amazon stock went up. He's worth $100 billion. And what does Jeff Bezos do better than anybody with Amazon.com? He sells online. And the good news and bad news I'm gonna give you guys today, the good news is some of you are gonna figure it out and you may not make a hundred billion dollars like Jeff Bezos, but maybe you make a hundred grand, or you make a million, or you make 10 million, or maybe you just make an extra 500 bucks a month on the side with your day job. But um, the what I'm gonna show you on these five things is how you can basically create your own mini Amazon. Just think of that. Create your own mini Amazon. It took Jeff Bezos, um, so here's step number one, okay? It's possible to make your own mini Amazon, and I'm gonna show you how. Now, I just wanna tell you guys, stay through this full thing because if you only get half of this, it won't work for you. I'm gonna show you the full system. Some of you are gonna get started within 24 hours. Last time I did this call, when I, this live, uh, stream when I was down here at San Diego, I talked about we just made up a business and somebody actually, who was watching just like you, took it, it was a dog beds depot or something like, dogbedstore.com, and they literally made it and um, within 24 hours they were in business. So pay attention to this stuff because this actually can show you how to do it very quick. So it's possible to make your own mini Amazon, you could start here at zero, use a different marker. You could start here, this represents zero. Man, every marker is yeah. junky. Let's see if this one's any better. There we go, this one's better. So Jeff Bezos is right here. He's at 100 billion. He started in 1994. Now, you know, it's 2017, 2018-ish time frame. From here, it took him by 2001, he had gone up, and then it started to go down for a while because there was the internet bubble, and then it came and now it's come up like this. Now what I wanna show you today is it's possible to make your own mini Amazon in under 24 hours if you follow what I'm showing you, okay? So this right here is 94, let's say to 2017, that's a total of 23 years. You can now do in, well, we'll just make it 23 hours. And there's a reason you can do that, and that's because there's more technology than when he got started in 1994. So that's the first thing you gotta know. You're gonna create your own mini Amazon, and you may sell somewhat on Amazon. I wanna show you something that a guy sent me today. He's got an Amazon store, he actually uh, does Kindle books and it's kind of cool. Da -da -da, where is it here? He was just texting me. 
I'm not going to share his name just because he probably wouldn't mind if I share his name actually. Oh, here's a video that he sent me, but I'll cover up the phone number here. He did, in the last five years, he did seven, six million dollars selling on Amazon. Six million bucks. He's a guy who follows me and also has his own, you know, business. So I'm not talking, by the way, about Amazon affiliate links. So let's get started. How do you create your own mini Amazon? And by the way, I just want to say something. For those of you who do not pay attention to this, I just want to remind you, when you miss trends, just think about Bitcoin. Uh, my friend in Argentina, he bought 8,000, uh, eight, sorry, 800 Bitcoin. He bought in, when it was at, a, I think, $1,000. And um, if you look today, 800... It's at about, Bitcoin's at around, let's say just 9,200. It's going up and down. It's worth $7.3 million, okay? So when you guys are looking at this stuff, whether it's Bitcoin or what I'm talking about right here, the good news is you can do it in under 23 hours, what used to take 23 years. The bad news is a lot of you will miss this trend. I promise you. I've been an entrepreneur since I'm 19. I've seen these trends. People miss the trend. And there's three main reasons you guys will miss the trend. 33% of you that'll miss the trend, it's because you're cynical. You grew up in a weird household. You grew up in a, with a weird worldview that you're convinced that everybody's out to get you and that everything good is a scam. And that's okay, you can go your way and you'll live a certain life and you'll create what they call self-fulfilling prophecies and uh, you know unfortunately those people almost always are broke this just went oh, Facebook just went baboosh hey can you check Facebook on your end up there yeah let me see that let me see so the second thing it expired see I think it kicked off yeah I don't think that title's good. Um, the second group of you are people who are procrastinators. So you know you should do it, but it's more like you're just lazy or something like that, okay? Uh, the third group of you are too busy. Logged you out of creator. And if you're busy, um, if you're busy, it's a bitch. Because then you know you should do it, but you have another job. Let me see if I can get Facebook up and go and give me one second. Yeah, I logged you out of both apps. You hear that, Nate? Yeah. Yeah, don't use that. Facebook is so butthurt about any titles about you cannot use make money in a title. This is the world we live in. If you put make money in a title of Facebook, they automatically consider it somehow scam like Jeff Bezos can make money online but if anybody else does and mentions it on Facebook Facebook is butthurt even though they make money online I find that interesting so we have to use unique titles for Facebook every time just use something else just yeah. just, just don't I, I okay. kind of brought this up before it's don't use anything like that you can do like five ways to launch an online store stuff like that it just cannot say money or any dollar amount, or anything remotely related to money. Or else Facebook gets fully butthurt, and you get to, I get to deal with this. Let me see if I can do this. All right. All right.
buy Oasis or an online store. No, no, no. Just, it's not going to go. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so we're back here. You got the potential to do this. As I said, about 33% of you are skeptics. 30% of you are, will just, you know you should do it, but lazy. What's your say, 33? And 33% know you should do it, but you're busy. So, I hope you'll learn to overcome all three of those because if you want to know what kills, kills hopes and dreams, that's what kills hopes and dreams. Without a doubt. Okay, so number two, knowing that you want, the goal is a simple Amazon replica site. So you gotta know what to sell. So, Here, I'm gonna give you guys an example. We're gonna do a case study right now. All right, let's do a case study. Who has a business, simple household item that's all around you right now, it can be, I don't know what this is, a candle. I just grabbed them things. It can be like a garlic press from the kitchen. It could be hot sauce that you resell. It could be mugs. It could be water. A lot of people making money water. This is dark chocolate. All right, let's make a business right now. I've done two of these businesses before. One of them was an exotic clock business. I'm gonna show you how to do the whole business from start to finish. You got the glasses here too. So. All right. Phone cases, pillows, glasses. I'm doing glasses, that was the one I was showing you. Magnets, fans, fans is interesting. Clothing, be more specific, hats. Let's do hats. I like hats. Okay, so the answer is simple household items. Hats. All right, here's the deal why I like hats. There's this guy who follows me, I forget his name, but he always sends me updates. During the election, he took hats, and I don't even think he cares about Trump or Hillary Clinton, but he made a hat for Donald Trump, a Donald Trump-style hat that said, Make America Great Again. He made a million bucks last year selling hats. I think he made, and he was selling t-shirts. I think he even made hats for Democrats, too. He just did it on both sides. So let's just do hats. So the first step is, let's buy a domain. And I recommend you buy it on GoDaddy, I buy sometimes, or I use a company called Namecheap. By the way, for the 33% of you who are highly cynical, because you probably have highly cynical parents, I'm not paid by GoDaddy or Namecheap. I'm just literally, that's what I use. Whenever I bring up a brand, people are like, ha ha, Ty's being paid by them. <laughs> like The level of cynicism by the way, for all of you who are not cynical, I have amazingly good news for you. Um, and the good news is, um, all the cynical people will never start the business and you can make all the money. That's why I never get butt hurt about the fact that so many people are cynical. Literally 50% of the world still thinks online businesses are scams. So I'm like, great. That means there's 3.5 billion less people competing with me. And I can put a business up and in one year be making a million bucks a month. Imagine if the whole world wasn't cynical and everybody actually started doing this. Imagine if the whole world wasn't lazy or 33% of people weren't lazy and 33% of people weren't cynical and 33% of people weren't procrastinators. We'd be hurting all of us entrepreneurs. You know, Jeff Bezos wouldn't have $100 billion if more people 
were willing to step out of their comfort zone. He quit his job and started, um, you know, Amazon. So, all right. Let's see. Let's go here. I'm going to go to GoDaddy, or I'll, I'll go to Namecheap. Let's find a hat domain. We're going to build a business in under, 23 hour, uh, in under 23 hours. By the way, any of you can be doing this at the same time. So I go here. You can search for titles. Uh, let's just type in simple ones. You do three-word domains are the easiest to actually be available. So, I don't know, coolhatstore.com. Just, I start with, like, simple things. Ha! <laughs> it's available. I'm going to buy it again. <laughs> and it's like a tongue-in-cheek. It's like Elon Musk made the boring hat company. Dude, Cool Hat Store is literally available. I'm going to buy it for $8. If any of you ever really needs it, I'll sell it to you for $9. I'll make $1 profit. Oh, this kills me. The fact that that's not owned by somebody just shows you how much opportunity. It literally, Cool Hat Store is like such a stupid name. People will think it's funny, and I now own it. Like any of you who had $8 in your bank account could have bought that. Official Joel said, someone buy it before him. Too late, Joel. I own it, my friend. Okay, so we got the domain name. The second thing that you can do, optional, okay, is you can go to LegalZoom, and I would form a company. It's very cheap and easy. You, they have a plan that's like 200 bucks. And I would just take, uh, I would just literally make the company like, uh, what did I call it? Cool Hat Store LLC. And if you, I'd probably make it a Delaware company. And if you do it correctly, it'll cost you about 200 bucks. You don't even have to do this, but I would. And then they'll double check that it's not trademarked already. They'll double check that it's not already taken. Okay, so there you go. We got the beginning of business. Now, what's the next step? Step number three, now we figured out we wanna sell. We're gonna sell hats. Does anyone have a hat in here? Any hats? Hat, hats, anybody? Hats. You got a beanie? We can do beanies on there. Does anybody? Alma, do I have a hat in this house? try to get Facebook going all right oh is this coffee what's the best hat by the way who has a good hat okay oh man whose hat is this my mom has this hat okay I don't know why she owns this hat all right this hat is made in China that's good news because one of the steps is we need to source the hats. So one of the places you can go is Alibaba. Oops, Alibaba.com, which is like the Chinese version of Amazon. And you can look for, let's say you wanted to sell this hat. I probably wouldn't sell this hat. <laughs> Somebody said, is your mom a sheriff? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes comments on social media is hilarious. Someone said the best hat would be a Supreme or Gucci hat. Yeah, let, I probably, but let's just pretend this is a better hat, okay? Now, one thing, let's do this together. We're going to use Amazon. Uh, remember, you're going to use Amazon to not just make Jeff Bezos the richest man in the world. Um, do you know how to do that, what they're saying? Well, why don't you use this phone right here? You know how to do it on that one? Yeah. 
I just log in. Because I'm an admin. Okay. All right, so let's go to Amazon's app. Oh, can I get your thumbprint again? Put my thumb on this. Okay, so I go to Amazon's app, just like I'm buying something on Amazon. By the way, for those of you uh, towards the end, I'm gonna put a link if you want me to train you for the next two months, me and my team, we'll actually show you how to do this more in depth. But I'm trying to do as much as I can here for free. I got an advanced program, um, a mentorship program on this. If you want us to mentor you on doing this, how to make money online, you know, make your own Amazon, sell simple household items. It doesn't have to be hats. It can be candles, it can be whatever you use. It can be jelly beans, whatever. Okay, so I'm just gonna go here and just put in hats to kind of get an idea on Amazon, you know, <clears throat> like what's the, so I'll go to the filter here and I can do, a, you can do a lot of different things, but we can search by, you can sort it by, let's say, average customer reviews. So actually, believe it or not, it makes sense. What's selling right now is a lot of just like these kind of hats, you know, for the winter. It's cold in a lot of the world right now. So you can see they got these winter, woman's winter beanie, win, woman winter pom-pom beanie hats, Zumo baseball hat. Now let's also go here to, uh, Price high to low. What's the high end stuff that's selling? Look at this, a thirteen hundred dollar, not a thirteen hundred dollar hat. Oh no, what the hell? It's a Nike hat. Men's mink full fur cabby cap. Okay, who wants to sell? Who wants to wear this? Okay, so if that's you and you know much about hats, you can you can pick a niche because one of the things, one of the steps, source the hats. We gotta pick the niche because you can't try to compete with Amazon selling every hat known to mankind. That's just, you're just not gonna make money that way. Look at this, Gucci original GG canvas military hat, $348. So here's what I would do. I would try to make a niche hat. For example, there's a kid, um, one of my buddies, business partners, his son has made $500,000 at age 15 in the last 12 months by selling t-shirts that are local to the city. So they'll say like, you know, I love Atlanta or something like that. I think they're actually Christian hats. They'll be like, Jesus loves Atlanta. And he like makes them for like every little town. Like Jesus loves, I don't know, Henderson, North Carolina and Jesus, all that kind of stuff. So he picked a small niche. He's 15, make 500 grand. So what you do, Somebody said, this concrete outcry said, laugh my ass off, I'd buy that hat. So yeah, I mean, a lot of people are religious. A lot of people have a sport. You, now you can't do sports teams per se, because you'll run into trademark issues, but nobody can trademark, I love Jesus or something like that. So basically you can make a hat, probably not this hat, but you can make a simple hat get made for you in China, and you could just start picking niches like that. You, and here's the beautiful thing of, about this then it's easy to do Facebook ads. We'll talk about that later. You create Facebook ads that just target people who live in Henderson, North Carolina, or you know, Ojai, California. You pick all these niches. It doesn't even have to be a hat you're gonna wear per se, but you become, like I said, what is the coolhatstore.com? You just get these hats around trending things. Remember the damn Daniel app? You could make like a damn day. Now it's not hot anymore, but you can also look in the app store and a lot, of, some of these things are not trademarked. If you go to the app store, let's look, how's it going? Uh, it's logged in, you see in the title. So if you go to the app store and you look in the top charts, you can see for things that are trend, you can see things that are trending. Now some of these you won't be able to do exactly like Monopoly, you're probably not gonna be able to do but sometimes there are weird things that are just trending very quickly. Let's see, Sky Guide is number 42. Look at that, so I just got a business idea for a hat. Right here, you can see that Sky Guide is the number 42 most downloaded um, app in the world. So what that tells me 
is that a lot of people are interested in stars and constellations. So what about making a hat that's about, you know, Orion or something? You put a constellation on it and then you target people on Facebook who are very into, you know, looking at the stars. You can, of course, do astrology hats. Nathan, you did that for a second, right? Yeah, I do. Uh... He's, Nathan, who works for me, has a one and it has like your astrology sign. People always love their astrology sign. Okay? So... By picking a niche, I would pick, if I was just starting out, and my goal was to make like $1,000 extra a month or 10000 or 20000 I would look, like I said, I would look online, I would look at the app store, I'd look at Google Trends, I would look, there's other tools, you can look at Google Keyword Tool, I don't have time to go through all of these, there's about 10 different places that you can go to find trending things, you combine the trends into one hat, you get them printed for you in China. Now with hats, you don't even need to go to China. There's printing companies that will make them for you in the US. Funny always sells, in my experience. I have a t-shirt business, a little t-shirt business, and we were testing shirts, and one of the shirts that sold the best said, um, I'm not gay, but $20 is $20. Amen. That, sh that shirt sold because people thought it was funny. Um, so I think that is very important that you not try to go too broad. You're not gonna be able to compete with all of Amazon. You're not gonna be able to compete with Gucci. You're not gonna be able to compete with everything. But what you can compete on, is that Facebook? Yeah, ready? So going live? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna press it in. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. And live. Facebook, you're back. I'm giving away actually a laptop and I'm giving away some cash and I'm explaining how you can get an online store up, a business up in under 23 hours. So I'm gonna do a quick recap to give away this 100 bucks since you guys are coming in a little bit late. We're gonna do a quick recap. So here's the recap. Five steps I'm using, this is how I'm doing things. Okay. I showed a little screen, not a screenshot, but I showed my Stripe account here one business I have, this is one of my smaller businesses, and it's made $18,386 today, and it's made 900,210. It's almost at a million bucks a month, okay? So this is how I'm doing it. I was saying your, your basic goal is to replicate Amazon. By the way, I'm about to ask a question for 100 bucks on this, so pay attention. I said, 1994, Amazon, it took him 23 years to get, become the richest man in the world, I'm gonna show you how, what took him 23 years, you can do it under 23 hours. But I warned you, if 33% of you are skeptical, procrastinators, or you're too busy, and you're gonna miss this trend, just like people have missed out on Bitcoin. Number one, what to sell. I mean, number two step, you gotta know what to sell. We just did a random thing, we picked hats. So like beanies like this. We went on Amazon, we looked at the top selling things right now on Amazon are beanies. We also looked at um, the uh, we looked at the app store and found one of the top things in the app store, number forty in the whole world that's downloaded, is a stargazing uh, app. People want to look at the stars, so you can make a hat, maybe not this, but like a traditional hat that has like the constellations on it. Or you can make religious hats of like, Jesus loves Henderson, North Carolina. Jesus loves Ojai. And you like put it, it that, that can't be trademarked. Then I went online and I literally bought a domain in front of everybody that was not taken. It was amazing. You guys missed it from Facebook. I bought this domain, coolhatstore.com for $8.88. And if you have a coupon, you can find them online. You should be able to buy the domain name for under $5. Okay, on GoDaddy or Namecheap. So then we went, I said, buy the domain, optional. I would probably go to LegalZoom. I would incorporate Cool Hat Store LLC. It's a Delaware company, 200 bucks. I would source my hat. You could do them in China, but the beauty of hats, you could definitely do hats in the United States. Pick the niche. So that's where we were. So $100 to the person who tells me, how much Jeff Bezos was worth today? How wealthy did Jeff Bezos get with Amazon selling online? The fourth person who gives that answer, okay, I see it coming in on Twitter. I see it coming on YouTube. Let's give Instagram and Facebook a second to catch up. How much Jeff Bezos now richer than Bill Gates?
Yeah, they're flooding in now. All right, tell me when it's on all of them. Who's yeah, smoking good. a lot of weed? Is that my brother? Shoo, my house, I'm gonna get high just standing here. Okay, I'm gonna, tell me when to stop, Nathan. One, two, three, stop. All right, we're on Instagram. Tell me when to stop. One, two, three, stop. All right, first person I see, Steve underscore G, 100 billion, I'll accept that. 100 billion dollars. All right. So congratulations, I will be PayPaling you, Steve. I guess that's your name, Steve G. So let's keep going, let's build this business. Hold on one second. Um, all right, next thing. What other business does someone have? I wanna do this one more time. I wanna show you how powerful this is. It's very, very powerful. How quickly I can build businesses now. Any other businesses? Let's do it one more time for Facebook to show. By the way, if you guys want me to mentor you, me and my team, over the next two months, we're gonna take a small group of you and I will mentor you my team will mentor you. My business partners will mentor you. I'll show you how I'm, in a year I got a business doing a million dollars a month selling glasses online. That's what we're selling. Glasses, glasses, um, blue blocker glasses. We're selling like sleep supplements, simple stuff like melatonin, stuff like that. Sleep pillows, all that stuff. Doing That's another business. That one's doing about... Uh, that one's smaller. It's just doing like six grand a day. But I only spend maybe six minutes per year on that, bit, maybe a little more. Maybe an hour a, a quarter. So four or five, six hours of a year on that business. And it's netting about 20 or 30,000 a month, okay? That's a teeny business. I invested with one of my first students from 2013. In 2013, a guy named James Swanick paid me 25 grand to mentor him in business. And um, yeah, I did. And then years later, he came back and said, Ty, I wanna give you 33% of my company for you being an advisor, and I was an advisor. So that, here, we can look at that business too. I haven't even shown that one yet. So that one we use Shopify. I was showing you Stripe we use for some. So this is Shopify. It's made $2,500 uh, today. This week it's made, where can you see the week thing? Oh no, the week just started, because so let's just look at the month. It's made 60 grand on Shopify. And on Amazon, we also sell, and it's, it makes about triple that. So it's made about 200 grand this month. This month was a good month. We did a Black Friday sale just Friday and made like 30 or 40,000 in one day selling glasses, sweet sleep stuff. Like I said, these are businesses now I'm just a high level mentor for. So if you want me to mentor you, I've actually put a link in the YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, Instagram, we've uh, put the, the URL in a co pinned comment. If you wanna, go into the advanced program, and for the next two months, we'll just start to finish. Money back guarantee, if we don't get you uh, started, you know, so you get all your money back, there's no risk. I'll talk about that later, but let's just do one more business, just to show you. What's something, a simple household item you use every day? Cloth diapers, okay, someone has kids. Hemp products, yeah, my brother outside smoking weed. Can't sell weed online. False alarm. Incense. Oh, it's incense? Yeah, yeah, your mom That's my mom. Incense, yeah. I, uh, my <laughs> mom's here. So it, it's, my mom was kind of a hippie, as you can tell by her hat. Somebody asked if my mom was a sheriff. Okay, cloth diaper. Diapers is a huge business. Uh, okay, let's do diapers because diapers.com is actually a company that Amazon tried to take down and compete with. So if you have kids, you're having to change diapers if you got babies, right? I had four younger, uh, three younger brothers at home, so I, I grew up having to change diapers. So here's the deal. With cloth diapers, first thing, it's, a, it's more probably of a local business because like you might be actually picking them up. Let me actually not do diapers. 
Diapers, by the way, for those is more advanced. Those of you who go in the program, we can talk about business like that. That one's more advanced. It has the potential to make millions of dollars versus the hat company. Maybe you'll make 500,000 to a million. Maybe some of you will figure out I mean, socks. Okay, that's one we can do. Toothbrush it. Okay, let's do toothbrush. Everybody use a toothbrush. So again, um, what's the first thing I'm gonna do? Those of you who go on the program, you're gonna get an advanced version of this, but we're gonna do it together. First step we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here. We gotta go to GoDaddy or Namecheap. Let's go, let's go, I use Namecheap, it's on my phone. Let's put in something with, you know, brushed tooth, brush depot, or I don't know. I bet you that's available. I don't know, someone has it. The toothbrush store. Okay, it's taken. Toothbrush online. Hmm, this one, I bet you there's money in this. By the way, if when you go and try to do this, um, it's taken, that's a good sign. It's a great sign. That means a lot of people, there's money in it that people are chasing. What's another way of doing toothbrush? Somebody give me something. Thetoothfairy.com, I like that. Great name. Let's call it, okay, so we need to add, let's not put the, let's call it Tooth Fairy Store. Online. This one's competitive, boy. I love it. I hate businesses that aren't competitive. It means that nobody's buying it. There, toothfairysupply.com. Remember, the name's not that important, so I'm gonna buy that right now. $8.88, toothfairysupply.com. It's kind of, a, you could make a funny little logo. You could go to a site called 99designs, have somebody design a quick logo for you. You could go to Fiverr. That would be a funny little, like, Tooth Fairy Supply. It's like, whatever, okay. Scrub a tooth, somebody said. Hempchompers.net. <laughs> okay, so, all right, so I got my domain name. Then the next step, I would go to LegalZoom. I would just literally go form a Delaware or a sometimes a Las Vegas, a Nevada LLC, and I would do Tooth Fairy Supply LLC. You can do an S Corp sometimes or a C Corp, but LLC should be good. All right, so now we gotta go to this third step. We gotta source it and we have to pick a niche. So the niche that I would do is watch this. Remember how I showed you how to find this? Let's go right now to Amazon. We're gonna use Amazon, not just to make Jeff Bezos wealthy, but to make you wealthy, okay? So we go here, and we're gonna just put in tooth, because electric toothbrushes have good profit margins. That's why I think that this is highly competitive, because people are making money. So you go here to toothbrush, and we can filter, let's do it by um, average, let's do high to low price. 900 here's a 809 dollar four pack of toothbrush stuff panasonic ionic here's a toothbrush 52 color what the hell is this for like a horse i don't know who this is but people are paying crazy money for tooth here's a broxo aura brush automatic toothbrush with combined mechanical vertical oscillation for 371 bucks from Swiss, Health, Swiss Healthcare. So let's just pretend I would take this, I'll contact this company, I'd find out what the wholesale price of it. I bet you this toothbrush kit right here, probably you can buy them for 100 bucks and they're reselling them for almost $400 on Amazon. So what you can do, that now let's get into the next step. If you're doing hats, if you're doing toothbrushes, if you're doing candles, if you're selling glasses, if you're selling pillows, if you're selling candy, like, like uh, by the way, kitchen stuff is really good. Like stuff like this. This is, I think, a garlic press. This kind of stuff, the net, if you, yeah, it's garlic. I can actually smell it on the thing. So here's what I do. Somebody said they think it's four times profit margin. Okay. This is what I would do next. I think we're on number three. Number three, we've got our market. We we're gonna pick with with toothbrushes. I would go high end toothbrushes, okay. 
If I was doing hats, I would go niche hats. I, I like the local hat idea. I think that's a great idea. Okay, so number three, we gotta pick our marketing angle. And what I would do, well, I'll show you two examples. A, for the hat business, we're gonna do Facebook ads that are local. Okay, Facebook ads that are local. Because remember, we're gonna make a hat that says like, I, Jesus loves Greensboro, North Carolina, Jesus loves Omaha, Nebraska, all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty simple. You take a picture of that, of the hat, okay? You can even take a picture before you even have it created, okay? You don't have to have it manufactured yet. You put it up, you target Omaha, Nebraska only, and you can target, there's different ways of targeting. You can do broad targeting. You can do very narrow one. Somebody said you skipped four. What does that mean? Oh, all right. I'll switch this to four. So Facebook, that's my marketing angle. It's pretty simple. I'm gonna use image ads. There's two types of ads you can make. Well, there's more than two. You can do carousel ads, you can do video ads, you can do simple image ads where you just literally post a picture you take with your iPhone. Now, for the business, the toothbrush business, I would do a slightly different angle. I would do something called Google AdWords. And here's why. I would create a review website where I would simply order all these different electric toothbrushes. I'd have the two toothbrushes delivered to my house or I'd go you know, get them at a store. And I would sit there with my laptop and I would open the box. They call these unboxing reviews. People, for some strange reason, they love to watch things get unboxed. If you go on my Instagram, like I get, when I unbox shoes, I'll get like one, I, my last shoe Instagram where I unboxed a shoe of the day. Let me just look here. It's insane how many Sorry, I was doing something else. All right, so go back to my Instagram. You can see when I unboxed the Givenchy shoes, 1.3 million views. So I would make, me, I would show a video of me unboxing the different toothbrushes. Remember, most people don't care about toothbrushes, but when they do care, they're willing to watch a video. I would make a short three to five minute video unboxing every different type of, um, high-end toothbrush. So I would go high-end, expensive ones, electric toothbrushes, electric. I'd create a, when you landed on my page, it'd be like, here's six videos, and I'd make like a little graph showing which ones that I like or whatever, okay? Now, I would do Google ads so that when people type in the word, look, I'll show you. When I type in the word electric toothbrush on Google, watch what's gonna happen. It's gonna show me some ads. So when people around the world, anywhere in the world, type in electric toothbrush, see, here's an ad by Sonic Care. Number one ad, there's two ads that show here at the top. One is by Get Quip Toothbrush. So these are actually companies. See, that's great because companies, people know that companies aren't objective, so people want an objective review. So I would put up my thing and say, you wanna know an objective review? Watch me review every electric toothbrush in the world or whatever. They click the ad, they come over to my website, I can either be an affiliate and get paid to send people to Amazon to buy or I can actually fulfill the toothbrushes myself. Mark my words, that is a business. Let me just, can you pull up, can you have your, you got your computer there. Yeah. Can you come here one second? Yeah. I'm gonna let you type on something. Um, pull up. 
Google Keyword Tool. I'm gonna show you guys something. I usually don't do this online, but I'm gonna take a little more time here to show you guys something. All right, so Google Keyword Tool. Uh, you can do that one too. Sometimes they, no, I'm sorry. Keyword Planner, they call it. So you can pull this up on your computer. So you gotta log into your, or sign into your Google account. Do you have Gmail? Mm -hmm. So you have to sign in with Gmail. It's a free service. Boom. Do you know your password? Yeah, I got LastPass right here. Let me just use my work account. <laughs> Gmail is so annoying, they make you log in. So basically what we're about to do is figure out how much money potential. Let's do a little guess. How much money do you think there's in toothbrushes? Just a quick question. Who, let's do a guess. Whoever get, how many people per month in the world search for electric toothbrushes? A hundred million? I think that's a lot. How many searches are there? It's not a hundred million, that's <clears> too high. Um, just press continue. You have to just go, Pat, just put in anything. Put tylopez.com. Somebody said 75,000 searches a month, 48 million. You think 40, that's too high. Some of you are not good at guessing. You actually think that people search 48 million times? <laughs> For, not that many, but, okay. This is spinning. Yeah, it'll take a second. Someone said 900,000. No, I don't think it's 900,000. Why is it not letting you do it? Uh, it's like it popped up again. It, but okay, there we go. All right, so go up here. All right, so here we're in Google AdWords. There's a keyword planning tool. It's being a pain in the butt. It's making you... So don't get confused when you go here. This is what I do. You should be able to go back. Hey Ben, do you have Google AdWords on your laptop? Do you have keyword tool, Ben? It's making him create a whole campaign. So basically, you don't want to have to create a whole campaign to do this tool. But since we're not using my computer, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Do -do -do. You have the keyword tool up? Yeah. Okay, all right. We have a different laptop. Here we go. You can use this free on your website. So just type in electric toothbrush. It's gonna show you exact matches as well. And I would set it not even English. I would just set, it's fine. You can leave it English and you can leave it broad. Okay, it's gonna show us right here, electric toothbrush. And we actually should just not even have, just put in toothbrush because not everybody knows what kind of toothbrush they want. So let's see here. Toothbrush, 110,000. Okay, in English, search for that. 135,000, search for electric toothbrush. Oral B gets 65,000. Philips Sonicare gets 200,000. Dude, if you add these up, you guys might be right. It might be a million searches a month. That's insane. In fact, you can down. There's a tool where you can download them to your Excel. Let's pull it up. I'm gonna see if you guys were right. Do you have Excel on this? Open this up and summation, do the summation. Who said, I'm, okay, I haven't told you exact. Put in your numbers because I'm gonna get the exact number and I'm gonna give 100 bucks to the person who gets this. All right, let's look, Ben. Okay, where's the number? Yeah. Okay, start guessing. Adrian, help me look here. Here's the number what I'm looking for, close to this. Oh, gotcha. All right, I'll tell you when I see it. It is like I said, it's not 100 million. Some of you are guessing 100 million. Just round that down is the correct. Okay. Just, just have the camera, I'll pick the winner. I don't need any help. I just need you to take a picture of it. 
Okay, I haven't seen anyone do it yet. I've seen people are getting close. 800 million is way colder. 1.1 million is warmer. Ooh, warmer. There we go, Billy on YouTube. 1.4 million people search toothbrush and toothbrush related stuff. Let's just do that math together real quick. If 1.4 million people, 1.4 million people search there, and let's just say you could get 1% of those people to potentially click on your website. So 1% is what? 10% is 140,000, 10% 140,000 would be 14,000. So you could get, remember, these are not just regular clicks. These are people who are actively wanting to buy a toothbrush. So 14,000 people. So it's, it's what we call hot traffic. If you, and this is per month. Now let's say you could get 1% of those people to buy, right? So let's just go low. So that'd be 140 toothbrush kit, electric toothbrushes. Okay? We'll call them ETs. 140, let's say your average markup looks like at least 200 bucks, I would guess. So what's 140 times 200? Who knows the answer? 140 times 200, quick math thing. How much would your business be making? There we go, Brittany got it. 28,000 gross a month. Now, let's just say, by the way, this is your what you call your gross profit. So you sell them for 400, but let's say it costs you 200 for shipping and all that. So you get your gross profit of 28,000. Now, how much did it cost you on advertising? If it costs you a dollar a click, which you might be able to do better, your cost will be 14,000 in marketing. So you're making 14 grand a month with electric toothbrushes in that scenario. It's a, it, this is, I'm giving you guys gold mines. Some of you who aren't the cynical ones, some of you who are not procrastinators, you're gonna build this business right here, this exact business. And here's the crazy thing. You can build this business, once you get it rocking and rolling, you can probably only spend, you ever heard of the, Tim Ferriss's book, The Four Hour Work Week? You can probably spend about four hours a week monitoring your ad campaigns. You hire one assistant, part-time, who you pay, let's say, two or three grand a month. So you'll subtract that from your cost. So you're making 11,000 bucks a month, and now you can launch another business, maybe the hat business. And it's what I call stacking businesses. The average person who becomes a millionaire has three to seven businesses stacked on top of each other, okay? So I have, I told you, the book shipping company, shipping books. We have the glasses company. I've got my educational stuff that I do. All of these are huge revenue sources and I do less work every day because more and more I can delegate this stuff to other people. So one of the goals that I have for you guys who here likes this goal? Half the work and twice the money. This is what we're talking about today. People who want to sell, do you think, you know, Jeff Bezos is worth $100 billion because of Amazon today. Do you think he's worked 100 billion times harder than you? No. He's doing less work every day, and he might work hard. Obviously, he works hard, but he's not working 100 million times harder than you, right? He's make, made 100 million more than you, times more money than you. But the point being is, he's learned the fine art of half the work, twice the results. And that's why I'm so excited, whether it's the hat business, the t-shirt, but I told you, my business partner's son is selling t-shirts, Christian t-shirts that are all, he sells them on Facebook ads, 
this year while he's he I think he's either 14 or 15 he's in whatever grade that is eighth or ninth grade what grade is that in ninth grade you're 15, 14. He made 500 grand. He's made more than probably almost all the teachers combined. If he goes to a small private school where there's only 10 teachers, I don't know if he goes to public or private, he'd make more money than all the teachers combined while he's at school. You see what I'm saying? Somebody said there's no shortcuts. Um, I wouldn't say that. Is that true? When People say, Ty, there's no shortcuts. Let's think about that real quick. Is it true there's no shortcuts? There's never a shortcut to driving somewhere, right? You always have to go the long way that every, because somebody just made, this is a common cliche that people say. They say there's no shortcuts. Yeah, there you go. Somebody said, wait, Ty, there's a ton of shortcuts. Yeah, that's why they call GPS. That's what they call Waze. You ain't never heard of Waze? It's called shortcuts. When everybody's going on the freeway and there's an accident, you don't go that way, you take the shortcut, right? People say there's no such thing as get rich quick. Kind of true, kind of false. Last year, a guy built a company called Jet.com and in nine months he sold it for $3.2 billion. Is that get rich quick? Zero to 3.2 billion, that seems get rich quick, but it's not get rich overnight. I've never seen somebody, unless they win the lottery, or they get signed from high school to play pro basketball, usually you don't get rich overnight. But there's people who get rich quick. Now, I don't think you should always try to play the lottery or become an athlete, but let's give another example. The guy who started Instagram, Kevin Systrom, in three years he sold it for a billion dollars. Is that get rich quick? I mean, it feels like it is. The guy who started Snapchat before, by the time he was 24 years old, um, was a billionaire. Is that get rich quick? Seems like it is. Uh, Kylie Jenner sold $430 million worth of makeup in 18 months. That seems like get rich quick. But in the sense, that's why I said, in a sense, get rich quick isn't true. But in a get rich quicker, this is a better way to think about it. Get rich quicker. You don't have to go super, super slow. Um, but some of you will. The guy who started um, Priceline, what's the, what's that one, is it Priceline? Where you like shop for airplane tickets? He made a billion dollars in one year. That seems pretty fast. So, I don't think you should try to get rich overnight at the, but I will tell you, I don't think you should listen to people that say there's no shortcuts. People have lots of shortcuts, okay? So just like when you use Waze or when you use Google Maps, you get there faster. That's what this is today that I'm showing you. I'm literally laying out for you. I started doing Google AdWords in 2001. When I was a teenager, I started as an entrepreneur. I'm literally showing you guys like stuff that took me a decade to learn. And some of you are going to learn that and some of you aren't. This is for those of you who are ready to learn that. Okay? So, next step. You got to know how to build a website. And here's the good news. You can build a website literally within Amazon. It's actually not a website. You'll just create an Amazon account, a store account. Another one you can do, you can build a um, Shopify store for very cheap. There's another company called ClickFunnels. So you're talking, you know, for under $100 a month, most of these, Amazon less, you know, free, whatever. You can be up in business in the next 23 hours. Uh, Instagram needs to be reset. Somebody said no pomegranates. <laughs> Instagram good? Not yet. <laughs> Shaker cups. Good business. What about eBay? eBay is an option. eBay is an option. 
You got Amazon, Shopify, ClickFunnels. There's other, there's other places you can sell. You can do a WordPress website. You can build a website on, like somebody was asking about eBay. There's people who sell on Craigslist. There's people like literally, I mean, you can do more variations. These are the three that I recommend most of you start with because they're easier, they're faster, and they work. Three good reasons, okay? Three good reasons. Now, somebody asked a good question. I'm gonna give you guys a couple bonus points. So basically, one, for those of you who go in the mentor program for the next two months where me and my team are gonna personally mentor you uh, step by step through learn, uh, to, so that you know how to sell online, money back guarantee, within two months, you'll be up and going. Some of you within two weeks, some of you within two days. I mean, we go at your rate. But we're gonna show you, there's a time to use Amazon, there's a time to use Shopify, and there's a time to use ClickFunnels. Um, you also need to know, if you're gonna sell on these, you need to know about a company called Stripe. As I showed you, Stripe here is where one of my businesses, how we collect credit cards. You gotta be able to get the money, right? So Stripe here, I'll log in, see if we've made any money during this talk. Yep, $18,555 today. 900,379 in the last 30 days. That's selling glasses and sleep related stuff. Okay, somebody said, I've never heard of Shopify. It's a huge multi billion dollar company. Stripe is a company that's huge, billion dollar company that was founded by the same guy who, stru who started Twitter. Okay, so a lot of people you can get on Stripe. You can also use PayPal. I don't love PayPal. PayPal is kind of a pain in the butt sometimes. But for some of you, that's an option. There's another company called Braintree. I think they're actually owned by PayPal now. Then you can do direct merchant account. There's lots of, I'm just keeping it as simple as possible for you guys. I've seen a lot of you are naming cool business ideas. Somebody was doing um, mugs coffee mugs, believe it or not, little stupid stuff like that is making people rich all around you. It's insane. Cologne, yep. Someone said Stripe is not available in India. Yeah, if you're in other countries, you're gonna have to find, like India has its own, I don't know that much about selling in India. Although one of my businesses sells a ton in India. So I don't know if that's true. Because we sell, this company right here, probably gonna make a million bucks this year in India and we, so I don't know. Maybe you're saying you can't get an account if you're an Indian citizen. I don't know. But I know we are, have sales all the time in India. That's the cool thing that you guys realize. This electric toothbrush business, if you live in a small town or a large city, it doesn't matter. You could be sent, you'll have customers in New Zealand. My businesses, I did a report where I published all the countries I did business in last year. I think it was 125 businesses. And some com com little teeny islands in like the South Pacific, I was making like one sale, 100 bucks a year. Bigger countries, Mexico, I make about a million bucks a year. And you just, it's like all around, it's like you make some in Sweden and you make some in Japan and it adds up, man, it adds up. And that's one of the things I wanna encourage some of you. Like, you know, a lot of you are financially in trouble right now. And the best answer I have for you is start selling stuff online. Now, if you already have another business idea, you don't need to do this. But I mean, if you're already doing something else, if you already own a restaurant, even then though, I'll tell you, McDonald's, you know what McDonald's just started doing? They finally integrated with Uber Eats, because they realized people don't want to go to McDonald's. They want McDonald's brought to them. I saw a billboard for it, and I was thinking, what is wrong with McDonald's? Like, why would they wait? Uber, what they didn't realize is, people, if you go to a college campus, people are using Uber Eats, and what's the other one people use? Uh, Postmates. It's, that's why McDonald's sales in America is dropping, because people don't go to McDonald's anymore. So, McDonald's waited too long, and all these big companies are waiting too long. Grubhub, uh, big companies like McDonald's are waiting too long, and it's creating opportunities for you, and even Amazon. 
They, are, they don't have time to do you know, toothbrush reviews. They don't have time. And even vendors aren't necessarily thinking the way that I'm teaching you right now. So it's a huge opportunity for you guys. I think over 300 million things are sold on Amazon. It's even more than this. 300 million product SKUs. And you know the crazy thing? It's just getting started. That's the crazy thing. And so if you can, you know, if you have electric toothbrush or hats, you'll have one or two items and you can sell on Amazon and then you can sell on your own site too. So any questions before I move to the next part? Questions on selling online. Should we do free shipping? Ah, uh, it's a great idea. If you can package up one price, people don't like when you add prices on. So you can do a thing where you said, if you buy, like what Amazon did, if you spend over X amount of money, you get free shipping. Good question there on Facebook. Uh, do we have to ship it ourselves? Ooh, another good question. If you use Amazon, they'll actually store it at their warehouse and do what's called drop shipping. Most of you won't have to store the stuff at your house. So you can use a concept called drop, drop shipping. Uh, it's very powerful. It basically means you take the order, you send it to them, and they do all the post office, the UPS, or FedEx stuff. Save you guys a lot of heartache. Doing shipping is a pain in the butt. Okay? I'm, trust me, I'm shipping out tens of thousands of things a month to people in the mail, one of my businesses. And we, but we ship out of um, Washington State. We have a company up there that does it all for us. Every time we get a sale, we send them a, a, a message basically saying, this is Bob's address, send him this. And they handle it for him. How do you gain credibility and trust from online customers in your marketing? Well, the simplest way is another thing that I teach, which is grow your social media a little bit. So I would take my hat company, I'd take my electric toothbrush company, I'd go out there, I'd grow my Facebook fan page. So on my homepage, I could show that I have, you know, five or 10,000 fans. That's literally what people look at. They look at the number of fans you have, the number of followers you have. That's the world we live in now and it's not gonna change. So that's for another, for those of you who get in the mentor program, uh, where we'll be mentoring you on how to make money online, selling simple household items, we'll be going more in depth. That's a good question, but that's what I was saying. The trust symbol of the future is not the BBB. It's not some, you know, VeriSign or McAfee thing on your site. It's social media followers. And there's a simple way to grow your social media for any product that you have. If I had a hat business, I'd grow my hat page on Facebook to five or 10,000 people. Um, Amazon versus Shopify, what's best for beginners? So they're a little different because Amazon, basically, you don't control the payments. People pay using their Amazon account. And one good thing about that is there's millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions of people who already have their credit cards stored on Amazon. So basically think of it this way. A certain amount of people only wanna buy on Amazon and some people would rather buy directly from you. So what I tend to do is do both. Like for the glasses business we, I'm sorry, for the, yeah, for the glasses business we have, we do Shopify and Amazon. So we do about $6,000 a day on Amazon and about 2,000, one to 2,000 a day. That business does, actually it's a little low. I think it's doing about 150,000. So it's, yeah, yeah, that's right. It's doing about 1,000 on Shopify and about four or 5,000 a day on Amazon. And that's a business that I spend, you know, five minutes a week on or something like that. Um, what's the book in the background? Tribe of Mentors, that's Amazon, that's a Tim Ferriss. The Leadership Challenge by Kuz. What if I gave you a product that has made millions in the market, what kind of split would I opt? Well, I'm not trying to take your guys' business. I'm giving you guys businesses. So I'm not really looking for any of you guys to split with me. Um, occasionally, once every couple of years, I'll partner with students. Like I said, the glasses business is a partnership from the first person in 2013 who paid, paid me 25 grand to help them build a business. And in 2013, James Swanick, he recorded some videos. You've probably seen them on my Snapchat and stuff. He said, you know what, man? He was scared to death. He spent all this money to learn, but man, when you don't know stuff, 
Um, what what is the reason he's saying this low resolution? He's uh, I think he's trying to find the balance of the which punches the font, maybe the title and video. No, I don't think that's what, well. Maybe I don't know. But he said he tested on his to try. He definitely doesn't. He says, "I press the square option." I don't know what that's talking about. I didn't press any oh, option. No, uh, Maya was saying she looked at your screenshot and she noticed something. Yeah. Well, I need him to not be that way. It should not be re low resolution. Okay. Uh, Ty, how's domain? The domain selling business. I'm not a domain sales guy. How important is it to hit trends when starting a business? Um, the trend is selling online in terms of, you know, you can make money on hats. Every That's not a new trend. People have been wearing hats for hundreds of years. So I think that it depends how much money you're trying to make. If you're trying to make $100 million, a billion dollars, you need to catch a trend. For a lot of you, here's my recommendation. Let me show you guys something that's important. The most important thing for making money See that's what it looks like on this on your Instagram. It's yeah. cropped in. Yeah, I don't really know what that means, but no, you see, it's cutting off your title, and I know because it was built wrong. I mean, it was made wrong. You want to take it down? Or? No, but they should not send me anything like that. I I just want to upload them. I don't want to have to mess with. Right. Them. Yeah. It. They. I know what they did. They took an old one, and I didn't press the thing, and maybe. Yeah, it should not be like that. It's part of the process. It just, I just take it, I press save and upload. I don't want to mess with that. Okay. So here's you guys. Some of you, most people in the world are down here. They're making zero dollars, or the we could say their net worth is zero dollars or even less. Some people are in debt. Let's actually add that. So, debt. There's three point. Uh, there's 1.2 billion trillion in just college debt alone, not even counting credit card debt. So that's below zero. And then you have people. The average person in America makes 52,000 or less. So we're gonna put 52, and I call this scarcity. You don't have. You have enough that you're not starving to death, but money's always tight. You know. And then you have the next level, people making a hundred grand. Actually, we'll put 72 grand. And this is basically what they call stability. Because if you can make 72 grand, you basically reach this stability point. Daniel Kahneman won a Nobel Prize talking about this. He's a professor of economics at, at Princeton. And then above here, Okay, and I remember all these stages. I remember being below zero. I remember being below 52, below 72. I remember going this. And then you get to a level, which I call financial independence. And this is an important place to get to. So that's, let's say, between 72 and $120,000 a year. Okay, because I remember getting to this stage, you go, you're stable and independence, you all, all of a sudden you have enough money to do stuff. I remember the first time I got to this stage, independence, I actually was able to um, uh, take a vacation. I went to Puerto Rico, I saved money, I was able to take a girl I was dating and her friend and I was able to fly in my dad. The only trip I ever did with my dad in my life was that one right there. So when you get, and I had an, I was making about eight, ten thousand dollars a month, and I remember being like, oh man, I could, I can go to Puerto Rico and spend three or four grand on the trip and still have more money coming in next month. So you got positive cash flow, right? So then the next stage is when you start getting, you know, what I consider like abundance levels, and that's between one hundred twenty and four hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. If you go on the IRS website of the U.S., they publish this publicly that if you make about four hundred fifty thousand dollars a year, 
you are in the top 1%. I'm sorry, the top 99.999999% so you're in the 0.00001 of the whole world. Very few people in this world make over $450,000 a year. So if you're at that level, you're in massive abundance. You know, if you make $450,000, you can, you can buy whatever car you want. Your bank will give you a loan for just about any house you could reasonably want. You can buy a multi-million dollar house. You can do all that, right? You'll get credit. Your credit cards will be sending you letters all the time. You won't quite get an Amex black card at this point, but you know, you'll be doing well. And then up here above, between, you know, when you start, let's say hitting 450 to a million dollars a year, I call this, you know, you start becoming wealthy. And then up here, we'll just call this the crazy level. And that's when you're making $1 million to let's say $1 billion, right? So a lot of you, where are you? Just type a comment. Where are you today in this? Are you below zero debt? Are you in scarcity mode, stability, independence, abundance, wealth, or crazy? Which is, somebody said, Steven says scarcity. Somebody said dead. You can't be dead in typing, but I know what you mean. Zach said 120K. So if you're at 120K, I would say you're hitting, you're between independence and abundance. You're at a good spot. Independence, scarcity, Andre said lowest, that would be debt. Basically, you're negative. Stability, 46 grand. Someone said below debt, fam. Somebody said scarcity with debt. Yeah, well, this is technically like, this is a net worth thing and this is an income thing. So that's fine, I know what you mean, scarcity. Somebody said they're at 200 grand, Travis says. So 200 grand, you're at the abundance stage. You're, you're making decent money. Somebody said they're in college. You know, this guy that I was showing you, his daughter, he set her up with an online business. She's making 5,000 a month and she's paying for her college as she goes. Instead of coming out of college with debt, she literally is selling on Amazon and making $5,000 a month. And that pays for school. Five grand a month, that'll pay for most schools. That's 60 grand a year. Most schools you'll be paid for. So instead of his daughter having to come out with 300,000 of debt and interest and all this, or whatever, 200,000, 100,000, 80,000, she's selling on Amazon and basically will graduate and everything's paid off, okay? So what can you sell on Amazon? Brack, uh, Bill asks, Bill Brack Loose, Bill, my answer is focus on things you use every day that are in your house now. So how do, here's my advice. You gotta try to get here very fast. So if you're here, you gotta jump, try to jump up. Once you're here, just try to move up one stage at a time. You don't even have to go to crazy mode. Most people are never gonna get to crazy mode. You don't even have to go to wealthy mode. You don't even have to go to abundance mode. The sweet spot, is these two mo these two right here. You need at least, you wanna be hovering between, Daniel Kahneman said you should target at least 72, at least $6,000 a month. That's where you need to be. Now I wanna tell you, I've been through all these stages, literally every one of these. There was a time in my life when I was sleeping on a couch in a mobile home, no car, no college degree, no job, nothing I could put on a resume, no suit to wear to a job, uh, uh, interview, no prospects, okay, nothing. And I've been in this mode. You know, I talk about when I had looked at my bank account, it's $47 in there. I remember hitting this mode. This is when I learned online marketing and online advertising, Google AdWords. I quickly jumped up to over $72,000 uh, a year. I hit about 100,000, okay? And then I remember hitting 120, this independence level. I remember, so I remember going and making 100 grand a month. This is per year, by the way. I remember, I, that was, I started making 100 grand a month, I don't know, a long time ago, probably over, let's say a decade ago, something like that. 
my businesses were doing over that. And then I remember hitting a hundred grand a week. And this put you up here. And then I remember hitting a hundred grand a day. Now I'm up here, make more, my businesses do usually a lot more than a hundred grand a day. That would put me in the crazy mode. So I could tell you, I have been through these. And so wherever you are, I didn't have parents that I was born to. Some people have parents that automatically put them in the crazy mode. You're just born in the crazy wealth mode. And um, I, don't know how, I don't know how to control for that. If you could pick your parents, we could all do that. But I haven't figured out how to pick up my parents and it's too late for all of us anyway, you know? All right. <laughs> I posted a funny video on Instagram. Somebody just texted me. Okay. So, where is anybody in crazy mode? Who's in crazy mode? Anybody? Me? Okay, how much you making? Not yet, not yet. Somebody said they're going for crazy. <laughs> Somebody said they wish. Definitely not me, someone said. Z said he's making. Let's just post, what's everybody making? Just do two things. Post how much you're making, your age, and if you want to, your country or city. What's your age, income right now, and sitting? You don't have to do it if you don't feel like sharing, but if you're open to sharing, let's get a quick guide here. 46 grand, age 25 in Turlock, California. 65 grand, 22 in New York City. 120 grand in, and age 42 in Canada. 1,500 a month at 14 years old. Okay, that's pretty good. Let me show you this while we talk about it. 95,000 at age 34 in Arizona. 120,000, 30 years old, Zach Wright in Greenville, South Carolina. Two to 4,000 a month, Frida says she's 19 in Long Beach. That's not bad. Six grand a year at 18, so 500 a month. Try to say it, you can say it annual if you want to. 3,000 a month in Miami at age 24. But we got people, we got it all over. Jeffrey Gregg is at 1,500 a month in at age 34 in Miami. So Jeff, I've been there. You are operating down here, you know? 1,500 a month is only 18,000 a year. That's gonna be a tough life and you're probably feeling that. And uh, Steven Nobles, 30 years old, making 100 grand in South Bend, Indiana. So you're hovering. You're not quite at abundance, but you're in independence mode. So how are we gonna get above this? That's what I wanna ask you. How's each person here going to go up a notch? Okay, you don't have to become the richest person in the world, but it's, it's an ideal situation to be moving up. Okay, what do we do? I'm gonna tell you, the formula right here. The formula for wealth is in one word, or one phrase, I'll say. Catching trends. Okay, that's how you move up. Jack Ma made 80 cents a day in China and he caught a trend which was selling online and now he is worth I think 40 billion dollars. He started Alibaba which is Alibaba is the Amazon of China and he went from making 80 cents a day, a day, $20 a month to he made his business did the largest amount of sales online in one day. I think it was 25 billion dollars this year. So what did Jack Ma do? What did Jeff Bezos do? What did Mark Zuckerberg do? You guys probably saw my live uh, interview. Tom from MySpace was at my house. He sold his business for $500 million. $580 million he sold MySpace for. Okay, $580 million he sold it for. Now MySpace doesn't exist, but he didn't care because he, he sold before he caught the trend at the right time. So, What's this is how you this is how you move up. Now, the principle of inversion is a very important logical principle. How do you move down? Who here goal 
is to move down in the wealth game. Who wants to move down? Raise your hand if you're insane. I know somebody will raise their hand because some people like attention. Who is the person who wants to move down? Be careful what you say because sometimes it comes true, by the way. Up. Everybody says they want to go up. So how do you move down? You miss trends. There you go. Simple formula for poverty. Simple formula for wealth. Now, the question becomes, and people argue with me on this sometimes, and I'm like, you do not read history, do you? Everybody who missed the next big thing were the, pers were the people uh, that regretted it. True story. A guy said, hey, come invest in my business. Four people sat down with him in a, in, in a room. And he said, if you invest a little bit of money, I'll give you a percentage of my company. This happened not, not much more than 10 years ago. And two people said yes, and two people said no. And the, the guy was Mark Zuckerberg, and it was Facebook. And I think one of them got in. Google how much he put in. I think he put $10,000 in. And now he's a billionaire. You see, he caught a trend, and those other two people did it. And that happened the same with Amazon. Amazon, Jeff Bezos' lawyer, he, he at, was asked to invest by Jeff Bezos. He said, why don't you put some money in? You're my lawyer. And the lawyer goes, I'm going to do it. I'm going to sell it. He owned a barn and a piece of land like in Seattle. He said, I'll sell the barn and, and, I'll, and I think he was going to own 10% of Amazon. And um, guess what? He never sold the barn. He procrastinated. He missed the trend. 10% of Amazon right now is worth about... Well, he would have been diluted by some stock when they raised capital, but I calculated he'd be worth $7 billion. He'd have $7,000 million, and all, now all he has is that stupid barn. So that's, how, that's a good analogy, true story for a lot of people. So my question to you, let's just, if you believe this, what are the trends that you have missed? Who here missed Bitcoin? Bitcoin, 100 bucks in Bitcoin. Uh... In 2010, if you hadn't worked, just put 100 bucks in and then gone in a cryo chamber and hibernated until 2017 or 18, you'd have over 100 billion dollars, a million dollars, 100 million plus. It's worth more than 75 million. It'd be a lot more than that. So, what's another trend that's even bigger than cryptocurrency? People think Bitcoin's big. No, 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 no. Amazon, Facebook. Uh, Microsoft, Walmart, Apple, Netflix, Netflix. Who here doesn't have the IQ to think of up, if you had a time machine, you go back 10, 15 years ago, could you have come up with Netflix? Is it a very hard idea? Like how hard is Netflix? Like you just basically send people, back then they were just mailing people DVDs. It didn't even start where it is now. So, who thinks that that would have been a hard business? Or who here thinks they weren't smart enough to think that up? Someone said it was good. Someone said not hard, man, but it's the drive that's needed. So, this is what I want. I agree with you on Twitter who said that. You got it right. The difference between people is this and this, but... It is the intangibles. And um, I call it literally the it factor. And I don't care where you are now on that pure, that triangle that I showed you. I don't care where it is, where you are. Some of you are going to come off this live talk that I do. Few of you, 1% or less. And you have the it factor right now. You just never be given a chance. You've never had a chance to catch a trend. You're given, I'm giving you a, cat, a chance to catch a trend today. And some of you are going to grab it and some of you won't. And if you have the it factor, you'll be one of the people who do. And for those of you who do, all I ask, if you go through my mentor program, you spend two months, not full time. It's not like school. It's not like college. You just log into your phone, you log into your laptop, you're gonna get a special password and username, you log into the password protected members area, you start going through the mentor training, 
You come on the live calls. We do the live calls not every day, okay? We do, why does it say live video paused? Did I pause it? Is Instagram paused? That's weird. You might have to. Can you look at Instagram on your phone? It says pause. Um, well, that's weird. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Anyway, for some of you who have that it factor, you will look forward in life and your life will never be the same. I think it's the case. And I remember when that happened in my life, it was when one big thing happened. And this is what I want to tell you. The it factor, you need two things. So the it factor is one. You need the blueprint. It's actually, we'll call it three things just to make it more. You need the mentors and you need the it factor. This is the one that's within. These two are outward. Some people think you can just do it all within and some of you have the it factor, okay? And you're doing it all within. You're just working hard and you're just going, I gotta figure out how to get, you know, become more financially independent and it's not working. That's why I said, you have to have what's within, which is the it factor, but you need a guide. And I don't do any business anymore without a guide, zero, okay? If I wanna, I'm launching an energy business. I just bought the domain name, Buzz Bears. It's gonna be little gummy bears that have natural, they're all natural energy source. We're gonna use um, goji berries, blueberries. We're gonna use uh, a dark chocolate, a little bit of honey, and some coffee flavoring, okay? So that's a business, guess what I did today? Because this is a business we're literally launching this week. So the first thing I did, I'm gonna show you on my phone what I was doing earlier today, just to show you. Because I have learned internally, I know how to build businesses, I've done it. But I also know that no matter how much I know, I still need a blueprint and mentors. So here's a guy named Gary, I won't say his last name, I'll cover it up here. But first thing I did, was text him this morning, or sorry, yesterday at 5.32 p.m. And I started a conversation. I said, Gary, I have an energy brand I'm working on. How does energy do for you? Because he's been in the energy uh, online business. It's not Gary V, by the way. <laughs> this is a guy who lives in Los Angeles. It is not that Gary. He's not in the, this is a guy who's been in the energy and supplement business. He's one of the biggest guys. He lives in Los Angeles. He makes about 100 million bucks a year. Um, and so the first thing I do is start opening up a conversation with people to learn more and for them to give me the blueprint. And so some of you are, someone said, is it Gary Coleman? It was not Gary Coleman. It was not Gary V. Didn't Gary Coleman die? Yeah, he, away. he died. Yeah, he away <laughs> Bad karma for making fun of a dead person. Um, but if you, some of you only have the it factor and some of you only buy books and get mentors. If you combine them both, that's the day your life will change. Okay. So for those of you who want to change your life today, I want to answer some more questions. I want to show you some more stuff, ninja stuff in a second. But I also want, for those of you who are asking about this mentor program that I have, you got a two month program. I'm gonna let in, I'm only gonna keep this open for another hour, okay? So you have one hour to get into this and I've got a whole bunch of bonus stuff that I'm gonna add on top of the mentoring. So the mentoring is gonna teach you from start to finish, all the things we talked about plus 10 times more stuff. It's like 50 hours of training. You don't even have to go through it all. It's more than you even need, but for those of you who like a ton of detail, you're gonna get more than you need. With the bonuses, it's probably like 100 hours worth of stuff, okay? Um, you can, if you want to do this through colleges, you can try it. As far as I know, there is no good e-commerce college program in the world. I'm a college dropout, but I've been lucky enough to be able to speak at Harvard and London Business School and USC and all these schools. It's too cutting edge. They haven't figured it out yet. 
Okay, so here's how this works. Very simple. Here's what you're about to get, okay? How it works. You're here, you're gonna start out today, for those of you who get in, it's the test group, so it's not, for, we're gonna have at least 50,000 people watching this live on all the different uh, uh, sources, YouTube, Instagram, my website, Twitter, Facebook. So the test group, you're gonna get access to a members only website, Okay, from there, you will watch the lessons or listen, okay? Audio or video. You'll come on live calls that all be on, and my staff will be on. You'll go through the bonuses, which are highly specialized stuff. You'll begin to build your online business. You'll pick the name with our help. You'll form the company, we'll show you how. We'll pick if we use Shopify or Amazon or ClickFunnels. You'll get access to something that I call the tribes. It's kind of like a private Facebook group. So you're gonna get access to the accountability community. So for if you're, there's ever a day you feel lost, you feel like your question wasn't answered, you can ask it to the whole community. You're gonna come through here, you're gonna learn how to market your program. And that will be, can be Facebook ads, it can be Amazon. You can actually boost and advertise on Amazon. They have it their own educational platform. We're gonna talk about how to create the social media brand. That's important to create trust so you don't just look like another website. Okay, I'm going to show you sales and persuasion techniques. And at the end of this, if it doesn't work for you, guess what? You're going to get 100% of your money back. So basically, you get all this stuff, and if at the end it didn't work, you get all the money back. So it's a paid test group. Some people ask why I paid, why I charge for it. It's because I have a lot of expenses and it's a very powerful group where I fly in the top teachers in the world. Put it this way, for example, on the marketing stuff, you're gonna learn from one of my business partners that spent $400 million on adverti online advertising. Just think of that, $400 million on online advertising. And he's flying in Recording, doing live calls, all this stuff costs money. So we make a profit, but it's not like we keep 100% of the, it's just like kind of like school where you pay and you get what you pay for, okay? So, but I have 100% money back guarantee, which is much different than college because right now you can go to college and if it doesn't work for you and you don't get a job and the career path's not there for you, they keep your money, okay? So now I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna show you one other thing. So people ask, how much does it cost? By the way, the link is in YouTube, in Twitter, in Facebook, and on Instagram as a comment. On the other ones, it's in the title. You can click right now, and as quickly as you can get access, um, you can get access to the uh, test group, okay? We're gonna keep this open for, what do we I said an hour, so we have, I got it going a little bit, so I'm gonna keep it up. I'll keep it a little bit past where I go. So here's the good news for some of you. How much does it cost? Let's just do this. Right now, the average college tuition in the US is about 10,000 a year. That's $40,000 a year. You then graduate, you have interest on top of this. Does having a college degree, an undergraduate degree, guarantee you will be able to get a good job? And we all know the answer. It did in the 1960s. It doesn't anymore. I think something like 50% of people can't find jobs in what they're qualified. 
So like about 50% of people who graduate with an English degree, they're not going to become an English professor. They're not going to become a writer. They're going to end up in some other random thing that has basically zero to do. And then some people say, yeah, but you go to college for other reasons. You get a general education and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, someone said, Ty, but I can't get laid uh, without going to college. Let me tell you this. I'm going to tell you this with this guy. When I was... Um, trying to decide if I want to go to college. And I'm not anti-college, I'm just saying, you gotta know why you go, okay? Um, and by the way, this 50%. If you're going to be a doctor, then it's a higher percentage. If you're gonna be an accountant, but for sure, trust me, people getting art history degrees, you think they're using their art history degree very often? That's probably like 90% of them. So anyway, I was trying to decide if I want to go to college, and Alan Nation, who was my second real mentor after Joel Salatin, I called him up, I was on the phone, I can still remember it, and I said, hey, um, you know, I think I need to go to college. And he goes, well, sometimes you should go to college, Todd, and sometimes you shouldn't. He said, what's your reason? I said, well, people will respect me more if I have a college degree. And he said, I'll never forget, greatest words ever. He said, Ty, this is America. Make a million dollars. That's what people respect. And <laughs> let's see, let me tell you, so the dude saying, that he, he, he thinks he has to go to college or he'll never get a girl. Remember what Alan Nation told me. That's not actually true, okay? So I'll leave it at that. I'm not gonna go far down that conversation, but okay. So people come here. So when I was trying to decide how much to price it, in 2013 when I started doing this, I was literally going to charge um, 10,000, I was gonna charge, sorry, uh, $40,000 for like an annual program or two year program. So I launched that way. This is in 2013. I decided I was just going to, I was like, shoot, if colleges are getting 40 grand and you're going to learn from somebody who's making money, I'm going to charge the same. The problem is people were willing to pay, but I was only attracting rich kids or rich, you know, rich entrepreneurs. Because who else could pay 40 grand for a program? So I quickly realized that was not my vision for life. Like I didn't want to just help rich kids and rich entrepreneurs. So I decided a policy. I'll go as low as is uh, sustainable. Sometimes people are like, well, why don't you charge $0? Well, I'm like, well, I have 60 employees. I have customer support. I have people that are concierge for you. I pay them and I give them benefits and all that. So as low as possible. And I, I think that's a good policy in general for a business. A lot of businesses, Amazon goes as low as possible. Obviously, Amazon, you know, if they buy something for $10, they usually sell it for more than $10. Although sometimes Amazon will actually try to lose money. Um, and sometimes I do that too. I give away a billion minutes of YouTube videos watch for free. I don't make any money. So low as possible. So for this program, um, I originally was going to price it at $1,000 one time payment. That was the original thought. But then I've done a lot of testing in the last two years. And $1,000 is a lot for some people. Okay. So... Um, the next thing I decided it was basically, well, let me fast forward here. So I put a middle price. I was like, let's just do a middle price. Then I realized even middle, half of a thousand is too much money. So I was like, let me go half of that. So what's the price plan we have now? What is it? It's 197, I think, something. So I went half again. And so we have a payment plan. If those of you who can't afford, so basically there's two options. Option one, where you save a little bit of money. 149. Yes, 149, Jeez. So now you can get in for under 150 bucks. And then it's times how many payments? Four. Times four payments. So you can pay it over time, okay? Or, what's this? What? One time, one time. Yeah, or you can get in let's say for, like I said, under that. 
So you save a little money if you do the one-time payment, or you can do the four-payment plan. Like, I don't know how, how much lower should I go? It's like under 150 bucks, four pay, that seems like crazy low. So for some of you, if that's too much for you, that is as low as we can go. But I got other good news for you. So you should see, for those of you watching my website, there is a link somewhere on the page. If you're watching my website, click that link. It's gonna take you to the test group. You have 44 minutes left to get in. Um, you'll see the two different options. If you have the money, you can save a lot of money by doing the one payment plan. If you wanna spread it out over four months, you can do the four pay. I don't care, I'm not greedy. You know, you do the math. I would say about 60% of people will do the one pay plan because they want they save a couple hundred bucks and the other 40% will do the, the multi pay option, okay? So, if you, if you don't see the button on this page or if you're watching on YouTube, Instagram, what's the link? Just tell me though, okay. So you can also just go to my website. Yeah. And you just go on line income, all one word, put those two words together. Online income, tylopas.com slash online income. Okay, you will get access, you'll see when you type that in, it'll take you with all the bonuses, which I'm about to explain. Okay, let me do a quick thing. So I'll be reading off those of you who get in the test group. Um, here we go, there's somebody already. Shantice Shepard, congratulations. She is in, oh, you uploaded a picture. She's watching on YouTube. She came from YouTube in Maryland. Awesome. Congratulations. Jeffrey Anderson, Florida, watching on Facebook. Congratulations. Bilect Dava, where are you at? You didn't put your, but I probably, I'm not sure. You didn't put in where you are. Okay. Omari Jordan in California. Congratulations. Did the four pay plan. David Hicks, Victoria, Canada. Watching live, congratulations. Dom Sablin did the, the full payment, one pay plan to save a little bit of money, congratulations. So you'll see people, we got people of all different types that are getting in here. Okay, Jesse Stewart, if you see your cards decline for any reason, a lot of times if you're from out of the country, I use American banks, sometimes you'll get your card declined because they think you know someone took, it, took your card. So. You, there should be a phone number on my website. There's also a chat you can, or you'll get an email. Contact my office, they'll help you. They'll, they'll help you set up PayPal or help you use a different card. So don't let that be a reason. Usually if you try a different card, or sometimes just call your credit card company and go, yo, <laughs> don't, don't block this payment, okay? All right, so let me show you these bonuses. Any questions while I'm talking about up so far? Somebody said, Adrian Sema said, good deal. If you join and positively we move forward, can you get a discount on future lessons? The good news is you're getting all the lessons. So I'm not holding back. You're getting, if you want me to mentor you in making money online, creating simple Amazon or Shopify or a ClickFunnels site, me and my team are going to do that for you. Move up this, move up the triangle, man. That triangle there, you're sitting here at the bottom. The mass of men lead lives of quiet desperation. That's what Thoreau said a long time ago, and it's still true today. Still true. Congratulations, Steve Middleton. Where are you at? Steve Middleton, also in California. I get these alerts on my phone so I can see. Simon Iabi in Texas. It says you're, the card, you got a call in the office. Noah Spencer. Welcome to the group in Texas. Congratulations. It's cool. I won't read all these, but it's good to know. I just want you guys to know. Oh, Joanna Santiago, female. If you're a woman and you're 
oops. If you're a woman and you're watching this, if you're young, if you're old, if you're black, if you're Asian, if you're Latin, if you're worried about, if you're transgender, whatever we all talk about now in the news all the time, the cool thing is that when you sell online, nobody knows who you are. Unless you put your face out there, but most people don't know. When you buy on Amazon, do you ever go, hey, is this a black guy? Is this a white guy? Is this a woman? Is this a 15 year old? No one cares. Send them what they have and they'll give you their money. It's a good deal. Mila Bened Benedetti, welcome to the group. She did the full pay, she's in Washington. Isaiah Moon, New Jersey, welcome to the group. So, by the way, for those of you getting in the group, it's very important you do your phone scheduler. I'm going to give you, we normally charge for a consultation call because sometimes people are like, hey, I want to talk to someone on the phone. I'm going to give you a free consultation call with my team. So, not only will you get the live calls that are separate from these, this is a live call, this is a free one, but we have the members only live call that we do. So, on that one, you can talk, you can ask your questions, but I want you guys to set up a phone call where you can ask all your questions and get customized advice from my team. So let me put this up here. Whose handwriting is this? Is this Nathan? Yes. Nate's handwriting. I'd have to get someone else to do it next time. Your handwriting is not that much different than mine, Nathan. Okay. So this, for all you get it go that have just got in, um, someone said, Ty, how much do I have to pay you for a live call? I don't really do live calls. I don't do private one-on-one. -on -one. I used to, but I charge like $10,000 to talk to somebody. Even then, I don't want to do it. Even if you offer me ten grand, I don't really do one-on-one -on -one calls. It's not worth it. But I will help you with this. I'm doing this live now. It's more efficient this way. Everybody, I can, You can help lots of people. Um, so let's go through the bonuses. You got 38, 48 minutes. Is that what it is, or 38 minutes? You get access, I told you, to the accountability. I call it the tribe. All the people in here, you get access as a private group, like a private Facebook, but it's on my site. That's 500 bucks. I'm gonna give you a scholarship for that. All you people get in now, I'm going to waive that. Same with the one-on-one -on -one call. My team, 300 bucks, I'm gonna waive that. Now this is one, social media secrets. This is closed, you cannot even buy this on my website. About half a year ago, I created a program on how to grow your personal social media or your brand's social media, okay? Not as a social media agency, but for what you're doing. So that is a, people pay 500 bucks for that, it's closed, but I'm gonna open it up and give you a scholarship for all of those of you whose names I just read and if you jump in here in the next uh, short while. My mini MBA academy, it's not, a, you won't get a college degree. I didn't go to college, I'm not a college. This mini MBA Academy has been, I think something like 30 or 40,000 people have gone through. It's an audio program, listen to it while you're in the car, while you're in the train, while you're on the, on the treadmill, okay? It's a $500 program. It's actually, see I have less time now. I built this when I had tons of time and I built this badass thing. I remember I sat there and I recorded all this stuff that's like, if I, someone could have told me this at 18, I had mentors, but I, no one told me all this insider stuff. Okay, I'm gonna give you the persuasion, what I call the persuasion preview bundle. So the full persuasion program is $2,000. So I'm not gonna give you that whole thing free because people pay two to $3,000 for that. But I've put together the most essential parts, $500 worth of it. I'm gonna waive that for anyone who gets in right now as we're speaking, okay? You snooze, you lose. By the way, let me read off. David Linares, congratulations. He did the one pay. Where are you at, David? Oh, you uploaded a picture. Illinois. I guess I should be showing these over there too. David Linares, congratulations. You just got at Wesley Witt in Florida. Congratulations. You get an access. Like I said, you guys jumped in before I even explained it. Greg Grishuk. Grishuk. Congratulations. Getting access right now. You're in Mississippi. That's where Island Nation was. My mentor I was talking about. Aaron Stennett, congratulations in Florida. So far, we've had a few countries. Delvis, oh, Keith Rice did the one payment plan in Pennsylvania. So, 
Next bonus, the Entrepreneur Accelerator, okay? So that's, again, I'm not gonna give you that whole program because people have paid, I think it's a five grand program, but I took out the most essential things you need to know on building a business because when you launch your website, you become an entrepreneur. Even if you're just trying to make 100 bucks a month, 1,000 bucks a month on the side, okay? So that's a $300 package. I'm gonna give you that as a scholarship right now for all of you who get in. Next, I'm gonna give you a ticket. Next year, I'm doing conferences. You can come see me in person. It's kinda of cool. <coughs> we'll do it when we get there. No, I'm just gonna go. So I'm gonna wave that. Not only am I gonna wave the price, but I'm also going to guarantee you a spot. We'll send out an email as long as you claim your ticket. If you miss it, you can come to a next conference. I'll do a few, a few next year. Um, and I'm gonna give you a replay of the one you missed. You missed my live conference. We packed, we sold out the places. The Santa Monica is a hotel in Santa Monica. It only holds 700. We had standing room only. I flew in my mentor, Joel Salatin. I flew in. It's Samir, by the way, some of the people, some of you, uh, the classes you're gonna be taught by are two of my students, Samir and Juan, who are 21 and 22, who are making, um, uh, right now they're making 75,000 a month on average. Their peak month this year was $220,000. They're selling clothes online. They're using Shopify, they're using Facebook ads. They'll be teaching, they were there. You're gonna get what they taught at that seminar. So you missed the October one, but I'm gonna wave that. We've, been, we've had the replays up for 100 bucks. People have been paying, so. All this combined is $2,279. Okay, so if you buy all this separate, which you really need to build this program correctly, you need every tool that I put on there. I don't just give you the bonuses just to say I give you bonuses. Every one of those is strategic. Every one of those is strategic. For example, you need to have the private accountability group so that somebody said, is that net or gross with Samir and Juan? Samir and Juan are probably netting, I think on their top month when they did 220,000, they probably netted about 40 or 50,000. Uh, when they're doing 75,000, they're netting probably 20 grand. But when they met me, they came to my first conference in 20, either 15 or 16, they were making two grand a month each, okay? They were 20 years old. And it's, if you catch trends, you move up. And if you miss trends for any reasons, laziness, procrastination, cynicism, skepticism, you know, it's being slow, being stubborn, all these things, you just get locked in and the whole world's locked in and they can't figure out how to get out. The way out, I told you the three things, two of them are external, one's internal. You gotta have the it factor. You have to be willing to do the stuff. That's the it factor, but you have to have the external thing. You need a blueprint, a guide. Do this, 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 and this. That's what I'm giving you. I just did a preview of it today. Go to Namecheap, type in your domain, three words, go here, go to LegalZoom, form your LLC. I'm giving you a blueprint, you know, set up Shopify, set up Amazon, set up Stripe. We're gonna just do that. Here's how to do the Facebook ads. So I'm gonna give you a blueprint and then you need mentors because you need to see that people ha who have done them themselves that are not just teaching from a book but have actually accomplished what it is that they're teaching, okay? So this is step-by-step. Step. You're gonna log in and go step-by-step. Step. So click the link should see it if you're on my website it should be a button somewhere around here if you don't see the button that's okay if you're on YouTube Instagram Facebook uh, or Twitter you'll see the title the exact URL it's a secret URL by the way it's in the title I mean it's not secret but it's not on my website and the reason I'm not is because it gives you all these bonuses so I'm not gonna put on my website I'm not giving everybody these bonuses that's why I said you have 31 minutes to claim this stuff. You don't, if you don't get this, I'm telling you, you're gonna fail if you don't get these bonus things. Trust me, you need to understand the marketing, the persuasion, the social media stuff that I'm giving you. You need to be part of the group. It's important. And last but not least, if you don't see the link, you can just go here. This will give you the bonuses. tylopezcom slash online income. But most important thing that I haven't mentioned, I, oh, I did mention it, but 100% money back guarantee. See, I'm not afraid to stand behind what I do. I don't want anybody to feel worried. I don't want people to feel scammed. 
I don't want people to be skeptical. I want to encourage you. So you go through the program. You got it's a two month program. The whole program, 60 days. While you're going through it, at any point you don't like it, send an email, call, uh, and my we'll send you your money back. Okay? Can you reset it? So, just to be clear, where uh, my office is in Los Angeles, it's not in some island off shore. There's uh, I got a, I think 60 full 50 or 60 full time employees in Los Angeles. So you'll see the number on my website. We're not there 24 seven, but we're there about 18 hours a day. Uh, we took off for Thanksgiving and normal stuff like that. But my point being is that if you need help, we are there. We'll get back to you on average within one business day if it's emergency, sometimes faster, okay? <clears throat> if you are calling my office and the lines are busy, because when I do these, the line people go crazy, um, just call back or just buy it online. It's better. But if you need to call, you can call. But like I said, you got 29 minutes. Why am I doing a timed thing? Because honestly, all the bonus I give you, it's not fair if I leave those up forever because people paid five grand for these or two grand, three grand for this stuff. Congratulations, Ever Meha in California. Congratulations, Martel Fletcher in Michigan. Congratulations, Armando Gabera in California. Congratulations, Daniela Casavala. Is that how I say your name? Congratulations. It's interesting. We have about a 50-50 male and female ratio, which is good. That's pretty much how business should be. Dylan Reinhardt did the one payment plan. Remember, you can do it over four, you'll pay a little more, or you can do one payment plan and save money. Dylan Reinhardt likes to save money. So that's good. Same with Evan Farfon in New York. Oh, you're on Twitter. Tyrell Ferguson, congratulations. In North Carolina, hey, you're in North Carolina. Okay, I wanna do some frequently asked questions. Do you have any questions right now for me? All right, what are the questions we have? Will you read me some questions here, Adrian? <clears throat> Let's see. Instagram doesn't have good questions. eBay versus Amazon. eBay versus Amazon. Um, almost every time Amazon will win. There are some things conceivably that Am eBay you'll do better on. Like if you're reselling your Nikes or something like that. Uh, but eBay, a lot of those businesses, okay, let me just tell you, there's people out there trying to make money and they're being encouraged to just like take the stuff that's in your house like one time, take your old shoes and sell them. Okay, that's great, but that's not a sustainable cash flow. I'm trying to set up businesses that you start, let me show you something, it's a good question, okay? Look, you gotta understand this. If you sell, all right, here's, here's your bills your monthly bills. How often do they come? Monthly. So, one of my mentors and business partners, John DeWar, he told me, you gotta have cash flow to offset this, and it has to come in monthly. So I see a lot of people trying to build businesses where one time they make money. Oh, let me sell my shoes on eBay. Let me go to a garage sale and do it. It's not that sustainable of a business. It's great if you want a little starter business and you want to, you know, you want to, you need training wheels on your bicycle. That's okay. But that's not my philosophy. If you're going to go through learning, why not learn how to make money for real? Why, why do you have to learn, you know, the little kitty way? So to me, a lot of the times people are using eBay is like to make money. Oh, sorry, eBay. There is a more of a one-time money maker. Whereas Amazon, if you set up your Amazon correct or your Shopify, you continually get supply in and you get demand. Supply and demand. Supply and demand. Like it's better to have a continuous stack and you do not have a continuous stack of income in your house if you're reselling your own stuff. 
even garage sales are not that sustainable. Let's say you go to garage sale. Oh, whoop de do. What if you what? And so you make a thousand dollars, a hundred dollars reselling something. Okay, so you had the demand, but you need more supply. Yeah, you need more supply. Does that make sense? It's like, so my answer to the eBay thing is occasionally, but I wouldn't build my life off of it, man. You won't be able to offset monthly bills with one-time income. So whether it's Craigslist, whether it's garage sales, the thing I don't like about garage sales, it's fine if you're five. Like if I had a five-year-old son, I'd be like, let's go, maybe. I, I think I'd actually teach my five-year-old son or daughter how to make money, why not? It's like, why teach them the dumb, dumb way? It's, it's like, you wanna learn how to fight? Learn jujitsu, Muay Thai, wrestling, and boxing. You'll be good. You don't have to teach people weird stuff like ninja throwing stars. Like, that's not gonna be, you're not gonna protect yourself in real life with a ninja throwing star, right? Teach them the real stuff. The Gracies, the biggest sports family in history, there's like 40 pro fighters. They teach their kids at one years old, under one years old, how to do jujitsu. And then when they're, it, like, one of, uh, one of the Machados, who I trained under the Machados, one of the Gracies, they're cousins. He's 17 years old and he's one of the top jujitsu guys in the world because he didn't get taught stupid stuff at the beginning. Build the right way from day one and you'll be good. That's my answer to you. Okay, what else? Ty, how do I keep my team focused? For those of you who have built a business, you're selling online, you got a group of people, here's my advice to you. Be inspired yourself, spend time around the team, bring them with you, do things off-site, don't just be together in the office, go bowling with them, take them to the movies sometimes. I rotate my office through my home office, so I have an office in Los Angeles, but I usually work for home, or almost always work for um, home, and different departments in my office, customer support will come hang out at the house for the day and do their work from there. And so they just keep rotating. And then we we'll go to a movie, I'll be like, who wants to go to a movie or a basketball game? We So it's, you gotta treat, it's a little bit like a family. You rotate through, you don't always spend time with your mom or your brother, but you make sure every once in a while, or more than every once in a while, you do stuff together, right? Okay, other good questions. Okay, let me, I'm gonna answer what I find to be the most Common questions. Let's do that. You've got 28 minutes. Okay. 28 minutes. Let's talk about the most common questions that I've ever seen around this. All right. Number one common question, will it work for me? So you're probably thinking, if you get in this mentor group, this two month mentor group, will it work? What if it doesn't work? Couple things. One, let's take the best case scenario, let's take the worst case scenario. Let's say the best case scenario, okay? Samir and Juan, they're 21, 22 years old, they're making, whatever, about a million bucks a year, okay? That'd be a great, they did that in their, really their first year of selling online, a million bucks. That'd be the best case. Let's do, let's actually make three scenarios. Let's do worst case. Okay, you go through the program, it doesn't work. So you got free information, you got insight into how the world works, all this stuff, and you call my office or email and you get 100% of your money back. So you, you didn't lose anything financially there and you learned about a new trend. Maybe you can pass on the information to someone else. You got to download it all into your brain. Now, I call this the most likely scenario. You need to have three plans always in your head. Best case, most likely and worst. The most likely situation is you're not gonna make a million dollars and you're not gonna get a refund. My programs have very low refund rate. That's why I'm very generous with the refund rate. We don't have that many refunds. I have about a th uh, 
the average program selling online has 300% more refunds than me. Okay? So the most likely scenario is it's not going to fail and you're not going to make a million. Okay? That's most likely. So some of you will make an extra 100 bucks a month, 1000, 10,000, 100,000. I mean, it, they, I already, the testimonials are already here. In fact, I did a, confer, a little seminar at my house. Guy came in from Europe, Ekim. I put him on my um, Snapchat. You've probably seen him. He 10X'd his money. He was already making 20,000 a month. And I, now he's making 11 times because I saw him the other day. He moved to Los Angeles from Turkey because he's making so much money. He's now making $220,000 a month. It took him two months in my mentorship to 11X his income. Like I said, he was already doing uh, 20,000 a month, but now he's at 220,000 a month. There's a big difference, okay? And you can, that's pretty much a scalable way if you're making $20 and you 11X it, you're making $220, right? If you're making $2,000, so you gotta have a blueprint and you need to have a mentor and you need to have the it factor. Does that make sense? You gotta have all three of those. And that anyway, so will it work for you? If it doesn't, you get your money back. If it gets the best case scenario, you're gonna fly out. It, you know, Samir and Juan, you guys probably saw me, they bring me gifts. They're like, thank you so much. They brought me a Versace, uh, what was it? A ba Versace bathrobe or Gucci bathrobe. They're like, dude, you've like changed our life and all that. So some of you, that'll be best case. And most likely is it'll just create a new form of income for you, you know? So. I think that's, that is my answer. That is the number one most commonly asked question. Um, okay, next. Let me read off a few more people getting in the program. Can you read a few more questions to me yeah. here? All right. What do we got? The best book to read if you're trying to learn on social media. There's no good books really on social media. By the time you write a book, it's all outdated. And I love books, so if anybody wishes there was a book on social media, it's me. But Ty's been motivating me to get back on my Periscope game. <laughs> you back on live. One of the bonuses you'll learn how to use these live streams to do sales. Looking for good questions. That one you can't read because of my suit coat. What do you guys think of this suit coat? This is a, uh, what brand is this right here? I think it's, forgot what I'm wearing. I think it's Versace. Let me look. Oh, that's Dolce. Dolce's my favorite brand, man. Somebody said, Ty, is that a cheap suit coat? Hell no, Dolce, baby. <laughs> There's a reason they say keep it Dolce, my friend. You can't knock the Dolce. I actually, I have another suit like this. It's not this exact one. And I went to, uh, the Clippers had a, had a dinner, the basketball team. This was a year ago. So I go there. What was the, who was the MVP of the NFL last year? What's his name? And who was the MVP last year in the NFL? No, not Tom Brady. No, no, no. Matt Ryan? Anyway, I was wearing a Dolce jacket. It wasn't Matt Ryan. It maybe it was, I forget who it was, but he, he was wearing a purple suit and I had a purple, purple suit and he's like, damn, that one's better. No, it was a big, like a line. It was like a running back. It was a running back. No, it wasn't Cam Newton. I met Cam Newton before. Cam Newton. David Johnson. Big ass strong dude, man. If you shake Cam Newton's hand, you'll know why he's a he's a quarterback, dude. That dude got big ass hands. Someone said Dak Prescott. No, <laughs> not Matt Ryan. Anyway, not to get off subject, but I was saying when you dress nice, people notice. So that's another thing. For some of you, you make enough money. Uh, buy one nice suit. You don't have to have a ton. Someone said, Ty, what about, I saw, uh, what about Post Malone at the, uh, yeah, I posted a video of me and Post Malone on my Instagram. <laughs> it was funny. We were, I, so I were at the red carpet of the AMA 
And Post Malone pulls up in his, he came in and rolled up in a, at a um, SUV. And so he walks up, we both came in at the same time. And he's like, Ty Lopez, he's like, okay, I see you on YouTube. The reason uh, he knows me also because H3H3, who's a big, did a big funny videos on me, but now we've become friends. So it was funny, cracked me up. You can check out my Instagram. Yeah, Vaughn Miller, that's who it was. It was Vaughn Miller. Vaughn Miller, he's another big, but he saw the purple Dolce. He was like, damn, I can get me one of those. He had like, whatever, Tom Ford or something. Okay, coconut water. That's something you should be selling online. Some of you are gonna learn how to make, some of you are gonna resell other brand stuff, and some of you are gonna create your own product. That's actually a good point. Some of you, and there, you can do both. You can re, like I have a business, this one I was showing you here, my Shopify account, we are selling uh, books, other people's books, like Amazon does. The 900,000, now it's up to 19,435. Remember when I got on here? It was like at 17,000. I've made like 2,500 bucks from selling books while I was just, you know, kind of sleeping. One of the things that's gonna blow your guys' mind, for those of you who go through this, you got the it factor, you follow what we're doing, you come on the live calls, you do the, you do the stuff, you can build this business and you're gonna wake up and money's gonna be in your bank account and it is a wild feeling if you haven't had it. I've gotten used to it, but my friend Herman, we have a business, a separate business together, uh, Neuro67, it's like a brain supplement. He's a neuro, he's a PhD in neuroscience. So he designed his own brain pill because I told him to do it for me. We weren't even gonna sell it. I was like, build me a brain pill because I do a lot of stuff with reading. I need to keep my brain, you know, like I play chess and all that. So he built one for me. He said it's the best one on the market. It has the most scientific research. It has 17 ingredients. They're all validated at Harvard, all these schools. So anyway, we we sell it sometimes. We actually sold out in one week. So we haven't, you haven't seen it. You can't buy it anymore. Cause like I had to keep enough bottles for myself and then it sold out. So, her, so anyway, but Herman had a Stripe account just like this. And he goes, he texted me, he goes, dude, I cannot leave my house. And I'm like, why? He's like, I'm so excited. I just am making money all day. Cause the first day we launched, it made like 14 or 15, or the first 48 hours, it made 15 grand. And he was like, woo! He was just, it was, he'd never see something like this. And I realized um, I'm so desensitized to it that I didn't see it as cool anymore because I, I don't I turn all my alerts off. You know how many alerts I would get? It would be I would get thousand I do a thousand sales. I'd get, you know, more than I could do. But it's cool for some of you to get your first sale. Take a screenshot of it. You know how in the olden days they used to take a hundred dollar bill and put it up on the wall and be like, that was my first hundred dollars or my first one dollar? Um do that with your first screenshot, your first person. I don't care if you're selling something for $1, $5, $100. When you see that first one, man, be like, look at that. Frame that thing. People walk in your house and say, you know what? I'm making money online, like Jeff Bezos, like Amazon.com. We're not going to let him have, you know, Amazon's now worth over $800 billion. It's going to be possibly. Let me see. I wonder if it's the first trillion dollar company. They say, no no company's ever been worth a trillion dollars in history. Um, so let's see, what is Amazon? You can Google it. We'll Google it together. Amazon.com uh, market cap. If you Google that, it'll give you the last time of close, public markets. Oof, Amazon now at $1,186. All right, so the market cap, oh, sorry, it's at 571 million. Apple is at 800 billion. But still, they're at a half a trillion. It's a crazy number, my friend. It's a crazy number. And Jeff Bezos owns roughly 20% of it. So that means Jeff Bezos has 100 billion. Let's do a weird little uh, game that I think is fun to do because everything's always negative in the world about how everything's bad and blah, blah, blah. Let's do a good game, which is what would happen if you had just, just pick a small number, a hundred thousand extra dollars. Let's just do a quick survey on the live stream comments here. What would you do right now? Somebody wires you 
$100,000. What do you do with it? You can't spend it on like your bills. You have to use it either just like on something besides your rent. What do you do with $100,000 right now? Somebody wrote, what would Jesus do? I'm not asking what Jesus would do. Are you Jesus? Then you cannot, if you're not Jesus, don't answer for Jesus. People are always going, what would Jesus do? I'm like, I don't know. You don't know either. Let's see. If they would go feed the homeless. That's not enough. What, would you give all 100 grand to the homeless? Like, what would the pie be of what you would do with the money? Someone said, would invest in my program? Buy video games. Okay, at least you're honest, my friend. Buy Bitcoin, buy real estate property. Any specific things? Would you pay off your credit cards? Somebody said they met Satan. Okay. We'll let that comment just keep flying by. We'll let you stay in your own imaginary world. Somebody said they would bet it all on the Jets. Well, you ain't gonna keep your money for long. Buy a good suit, pay off student loans, fly to Europe. Where in Europe? I'm gonna show you a little thing. This is kind of off topic, but it's not really off topic. It's been proven over and over that you have to kind of visualize what you want before you have it. Kobe Bryant, one of the best basketball players of all time. Some people think he's the best. Other people think he's in the, most people think he's in the top five or so. Shaquille O'Neal came in to practice one time and Kobe Bryant was playing basketball by himself with no ball. He was just like dribbling and he was like shooting, but he had no ball. And um, Shaq thought he had gone insane. And he said, why are you doing that? And he said, because you got to see the ball go in the hoop before you actually st score a lot of points. And Kobe Bryant scored 80, what was it, 82? What was the amount he scored? It was 82, I think. Besides Wilt Chamberlain, who played in a different era, 81. So he visualizes success. So when I'm asking you this question of if you make 100 grand extra, more than you're used to, you should be very specific. A lot of you are just saying you'd fly to Europe. Like, that's not visualization. Like, where would you fly? Would you fly to Paris? Where would you stay? What hotel? Where would you go to eat? Who would you take with you? See, trust me, the school system has taught you not to visualize success. They say, oh, don't daydream. But you need to daydream. And there's a difference between daydreaming and visualization. Daydreaming is like pointless. You're just like, oh, like any thought that comes into your mind, like, oh, there's food, like there's a burger. Like that's daydreaming. Visualizing is very specific. So I'm gonna ask some of you, when you get in this program, visualize yourself building a website, building yourself learning the marketing. Visualize that, yeah, you'll have some ups and downs. You're gonna have some learning curves. I'm not unrealistic. I'm not saying you're gonna make $1 million with this in two months or anything crazy like that. Is it frozen on Facebook? Can you check Facebook? Yeah. Uh, oh, maybe it's not. Okay, there it is. Um, so you gotta be specific and that's what I was trying to tell you. I think very specifically. Jeff Bezos thought, I actually, he, was, he spoke. I, I, I didn't get to meet him one-on-one, -on -one, but he was at a little uh, talk at Summit Series about uh, last month, and it was fascinating. You could see how Jeff Bezos like specifically thought, everything you see now with Amazon, or Mark Zuckerberg with Facebook, they like envisioned it before it happened. Just like Kobe Bryant did. So. A lot of you got to learn that technique because you've been dumbed down by the school system so you don't even dream of stuff anymore. The second you start dreaming, your mom or your dad's like, ah, 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 son, get out of it. You know, like, no, forget that. Now, I will tell you, it is possible to have stupid visualizations. You know, like, oh, I'm going to be the king of the universe. Uh, I'm going to be the richest man in the world. I don't think you should. That's not how Jeff Bezos, Mark Zuckerberg, or even Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant did not visualize. He didn't go in there and go, I will be the greatest basketball player of all time. He was more focused on specific goals, like I will make 90% of my free throws. I will be, you know, the, the lead the league in assists or something. So be in, sometimes I see people visualize and like they take it a little bit kooky. They're like, you know, I will dominate all people. 
will be my servants or something. Like that's, that probably not gonna happen. That's what I would say. But if you start thinking through things correctly, you know, then those are the things that actually come true. All right. I'm going to get off here. Let me read a few more people. I guess I'm going to extend the time because I'm still talking. So I'll leave it up because when I get off, some of you didn't want to get in the program yet because I was uh, talking <laughs> still and you wanted to hear what I was saying. So I'm going to stay up. I'll, I'll keep it up for, I don't know, 35 more minutes. How about that? Because I'm about to get off. Um, check one thing. Okay, can you, Nathan, can you come down here and read some of these? Yes. All right. Somebody said they would take the 25 grand and get a mentor and the last 25 grand to feed the homeless. That's a good one. Ty, should I use investors for my business? Tony Peterson asks. Tony, I would not start with investors. Um, you don't need one for this. That's my answer. You don't need one for this business. <clears throat> what else, Nathan? Oh, no. oh. Ty, why do you flash Lamborghinis? I don't. I just film my life and I happen to collect cars. Sometimes that makes people butt hurt. I know. I have learned that. <clears throat> Some of you are going to learn. Let me just warn you. The day you're successful, okay, and you put up a picture of you fly, you know the person who said fly to Europe? Somebody in your family, somebody in your little Facebook supposed friends, they're going to be like, oh, look at Mr. Traveler here. You know what you just do? You love it. Because they just revealed who they really are in relationship to you. There's somebody who doesn't give a shit about you. Nobody who actually cares about you is butthurt when you display your life. They just not. So I call this smoking out the haters. You actually want to smoke out the haters. Like every once in a while, you should literally just try this. When you see a Lamborghini like in the parking lot, go up next to it and just like take a picture next to it and be like, I love this car. Don't lie and don't be like it's yours. Just be like, ah. And then anybody who writes like, oh, look at Mr. Hotshot with his Lamborghini. They are a butt hurt, low self-esteem, probably high narcissism person. So you just go block on your Facebook. And I promise you it's gonna be, one of them is gonna be in your family or extended family. And a couple other of them will be your classmates. It's just how the world goes nowadays. People got to live, you know, this butthurt land that we live in is highly offended at everything. There's basically, there's nothing you can do. Like if I post a video of me giving things away to homeless people, people be like, you should never show that you give money away. I'm like, why? Because what you're saying then is the only thing that should be posted on social media is food, uh, pictures of people's butts, um, negative thing why can't there be why can't 10 percent of social media be people posting nice things they do like is it really going to ruin the world will we live will we look back one day and you know you know what the fall of civilization was in the 21st century people just started posting pictures of them giving to the homeless i'm just like uh but you know people ain't smart enough to think this through they are literally not smart enough like people those same people will complain that the media is negative. It's funny. They'll be like, oh, the media is all negative. And then you post something positive. They'll be like, oh, you're negative. It, it, they're just in a bad place, man. So you don't have to judge them. You just, you don't have to judge people, but you can't control your social circle. My advice is control your social circle. You don't have to judge them. You don't have to say they're evil. We all are idiots half the time anyway, as far as I can tell. Humans are pretty, I've never met some, trust me, whoever you use your idol, if it's President Obama or Chrissy Teigen or something, they'd be the first to admit that half of their life was idiotic. Trust me, 
You, it, you become a hero if like 51% of your life makes sense. You, you, no one, no one, no one is 100%. Trust me. Somebody, Rachel said she's her own idol. That's not possible. The word idol, that's like, <laughs> that's like saying you're your own mentor. The definition of mentor, literally in the dictionary, is a, another person. Now, if you're schizophrenic, that is possible. So if you're schizophrenic, you may have, you may need to go see the doctor. If you actually think, if you actually out there mentoring yourself, like you wear two different outfits, you like split screen the, you, your social media and, and post two different pictures, you, you, you got another situation going on. Okay. Um, Somebody, people are trying to figure out what I'm drinking. This is LaCroix. This damn company, talk about a trend. The, me and my, uh, Sam Ovens, he's a, he's a business partner of mine. He is so mad. He wanted, he told me, Ty, we should buy into this company when it was probably worth like, I don't know, 10 million or 20 million or something. He'd been following it for me. Now it's worth a billion or more. That's why I told you. We're all idiots. Even rich people are idiots. Poor people are idiots. It's just... Planet Earth is basically we're like our, you know, I have two dogs, two German Shepherds. I got a puppy, and now he's pretty big, and his name's Ando, and the the female's Heli. She's from Germany. They're both purebred. Um, they, half the time he's a dumb guy. He like he's like a, a one year old, and he like runs into the wall accidentally when he gets excited. It's like, and. As much as I want to laugh at him, I'm like, that is the perfect metaphor for planet Earth. Just think back at some of the things you've done in life. People you've dated, friends you had, advice you've ignored, trends you've missed. We're, it, trust me. If you can get to 51% smart, you are good. Okay? And that's a good thing. That's what I was talking about. Common question, you know, how smart do you have to be for this program? Do you have to come from a background where parents were entrepreneurs? My answer is no. We're just trying to get you to be 51% smarter than the average person selling online and selling on Amazon, and you will print money. Trust me. You will print money being 51% smarter than the average business owner. We're not trying to get you to 100. I'm not at 100, so I couldn't get you to 100. Trust me. There's better entrepreneurs than me. Lots of them, you know? Um, there's lots worse than me, too. So, Ty, new customers versus returning. Who are you devoting time to? One of the things you'll learn in the entrepreneur part of the mentor program. By the way, for those of you on my site, click the link below or wherever it is on the site to get in the mentor group. For those of you watching, you can go, if you don't see the button, tylopez.com slash online income. You got 28 minutes. This time I'm for real, okay? So I'm gonna get off here in about 10 minutes because I'm gonna give you guys time that didn't want, that were just listening that'll give you about 20 minutes to quickly go to the test group uh application page yeah all right so let me read off a few more of you some of you jumping in this test group who do we got next we got daniel haywood first person i saw he's in where illinois we got a lot of illinois people Patrick Breen did the one payment plan. Oops, what is this? No, that's Twitter. That's Twitter. Why did it, it always says somebody's trying to send, it's fine, just leave it. Okay. Um, Patrick Breen, Massachusetts, did the one payment plan. Welcome to the program. Wow, this is a hard name. Nigo, Nico Anagonostopoulos, I am gonna assume you're in Greece. You got a picture of yourself. That is quite a name. That could be a brand, man. You should make your brand. Anna Anagnostopoulos Ventures. It'd be like Iron Man. You could just call it AG Ventures. It sounds like you're like a superhero, man. Forget the Justice League. You are the Justice League. Estevan Garcia. Somebody said breast pumps business. You're laughing at that breast pump business. I literally... One of my friends, his wife launched this breast pump business as making millions of dollars because now it's mandated by law in California that employers have to have breast pumps available for uh, you know, preg uh, nursing mothers. 
So guess what? They're now all just buying them and she literally made millions of dollars. Some of these business ideas that people laugh at, I never laugh at people's business ideas. Even if I wouldn't do them myself, because you never know when one of these turns into a million dollar business or more. I think they're gonna make like 10 million bucks. Bo Berkeland, congratulations. Jamal Oliver, congratulations. Matt or Matthew, is it Wink or Winky? Congratulations, he did the one pay. Dwayne Lodge, congratulations. Who else we got? Luis Torres, congratulations, you're in. Did the one pay plan. Joshua Sproles, congratulations. Tennessee, hey Craig, he's from your country. John Enright, congratulations. Let me say this, I wanna kind of as I close up here, um, I wanna encourage you guys on one simple formula. This, think of this as a bonus, then I'm gonna do the giveaway. Give away this iPad, I mean sorry, this uh, laptop, like I promised. So let me just show you something that I wish somebody had shown me. You can use this to make money online. For some of you who are already entrepreneurs, you can use this in any business that you're already doing. Just watch this. So here is the average person, okay, starting from scratch. Maybe you're like me. I'm gonna assume 90% of people on here are like me. Like you didn't grow up with a huge head start. You, you know, your mom and dad were working class people, okay? That's mine. Um, my mom's just working class, okay? So, you start from scratch. Here's the thing, what people tell you. I'm gonna show you what you, you're told to do, but I don't think works very well. Sometimes it works, but usually it doesn't. Because this keeps stopping and going, okay. So, here's what I think most people do. You basically, so this is you at like five years old. So you enter the school system until you're 18. So all here, you're told what to do. And it's not like it's from a mentor. It's like from more like a system, like a government bureaucratic system. It just tells you, okay, you're in seventh grade. At seventh grade, you need to know that the capital of uh, Montana, you know, you need to know what a hypotenuse, or, it, well, you wouldn't even do hypotenuse then, but all this like stuff. You had no say in it, right? Now, you become 18, the average person comes around the corner here and goes to undergrad college. So now they're 22. During this same process, you're also told what to do for the most part, although you have a little more say because you can pick your major usually, uh, you can pick your electives, all right. Okay, so you come around the corner. Now you go out, let's face it, between 22 and 30, people look for a job. Most people end up taking Kind of the first job. You don't need to post the camera. I think we're good. Okay. Uh, it'll be too disjointed. Um, you, you take a job because a friend of a friend has a job or it, you need to pay the bills and it came up and they promoted you so you're kind of stuck there. So you come in a job. So it's like 50-50. You had a say in it, but maybe you didn't. You know, like half of it was environmental and half of it was you picking. Now... You have kids and you get married. Now at this stage, not everybody does this, but at this stage, it's kind of your choice, but you're constrained by how smart you are and a lot of people marry the wrong person. How do I know that? Well, because over 50% of people get married, get divorced. So they probably didn't marry the right person. Not that divorce is always, it's not wrong morally. I'm just saying the average person who gets divorced, if you asked them, would you marry the same person again? They're like, hell no. So that's a good sign that it's probably not the best choice. So I'll say again, that was like 60, 40, your choice, but it was also environmental. A lot of times you don't know what you're getting into until it's too late. So now, guess what? So let, okay. So now you just, here's the end of your life and you kind of get old and you just blah, blah, blah. So that's, that's scenario one. This is, I've just described 99% of planet Earth, okay? Now, <clears throat> I'm not just talking about wealth. I'm talking about anything you wanna do. I think there's a better way that I wish someone had told me. So let me redraw this, okay? So, here's you today, or here's you at you know birth, and then you go and you're 18. You still don't have much say because there's laws. You can't, 
not go to high school. I mean, if you don't send your kids to school or homeschool or something, they're going to child protective services will get them. Okay, but now you come around the corner. Okay, now you get more set. What I recommend for those of you in this area from 18 to 22, that you can go to college, but why do you have to go so fast? I've never understood that. What, what is the magic of four years? Why get in super amount of debt? Why go super fast? Why not get a college degree in six years or eight years or 10 years? Who cares? Now, if you're becoming a medical doctor, it's going to take 15 years anyway. My cousin's at Albert Einstein University for pre-med, and he's probably going to be in school for almost 15 years. Um, but assuming you're not going for med school or be a hyper-specialized you know, architect or something like that, okay? So in this stage, draw, drag it out a little bit longer. There's no rule. And then make money at the same time. Remember how I told you one of the people that I know selling on Amazon? He set up a business for his daughter who makes $5,000 a month. And guess what? She won't have any college debt. It's kind of cool. So make money at the same time and choose. Now, here's the key thing I want to show you that differentiates this life. So remember I told you this whole life is like other people telling you what to do? We're going to erase that and you're going to, you're going to put a new word in. And it's called experimentation or we'll just call it experiment. When you get to this age right here, okay, when you die, let's just call it 100. My grandma's 99. Okay, so you don't, you, you know, some of you are going to live very long. Some of you, by the, the guy who said he meets with Satan, you may not make it that long. Um, <laughs> a lot of interesting characters online. But what happens if between 18 and 100, you become a person who experiments with life. I'm gonna tell you a true story that I just posted live. Tom Anderson, who started MySpace, which in 2006 and 2007 was bigger than Google. It was the biggest website in the world. I said, how did you launch MySpace? He's like, oh, I had a company and we would just launch a new experiment like once a week. And I said, what did you launch the, the week before MySpace? He's like, oh, we launched some dating app. I forget what it was called. Some dumb, dumb dating app. And it didn't work. And he's like, he wasn't discouraged. No one was telling him what to do. The next week, he launched this thing and he called it MySpace. And he said right away, he was like, it didn't get big right away, but he was like, hmm, this one's doing a little bit better. And he stepped back and then he's like, let me experiment a little more, a little more. Within two months, he knew MySpace was special. He didn't think it'd be the biggest website in the world for two years straight, but he thought it would and he grew it and he started emailing people. Hey, do you want to join my MySpace? Influential people. There was this model named Tila Tequila. He sent her an email. Would you join? And when she joined, 5,000 people joined that day because she posted it like on her. She was on Friendster. So he was experimenting. Let me talk to different people. And guess what happened? By the time Tom, I'm not sure exactly what age, but let's say by the time he's 30 roughly or, or early 30s, he sells MySpace for $580 million. And you know what Tom's done? That was in 2000, I think, seven or eight. No, no, it was actually in 2005, I think, or six. Well, look when MySpace sold for 580. What year was that? But I wanna tell you what Tom has done since 2008. Nothing. He's just been chilling for 10 years. 2005. 2005, he sold it. So he had to work at the company, and they had a contract, he worked there for a few more years. But he'd been chilling for 10 years. So whose life would you rather have? Somebody dying, grinding away, working at a mindless job, hating things. Every month, bills coming in. Or one where you're like, you know what I'm gonna do today? Uh, I'm gonna go take photographs in Vietnam. That's what he does. If you go to Tom's my Instagram, it's just him with like random decisions. Like, I'm gonna go to like, you know, Peru, Machu Picchu, and I'm gonna take a ton of pictures. That's his, how cool his life is, and the reason that it's that way is because he chose, instead of people telling him what to do, he just experiments with everything. And that's one thing I've learned. I've got, we've become friends over the last, I don't know, six months or five months or so. I think I met him in, in the, um, uh, this summer. And I'm like, this is a dude who just lives experimentation lifestyle. And to the extent that you experiment, that'll be the quality of your life. And when you get locked into one thing, 
you get locked into one idea, man, that's when you miss the big trends. So for today, some of you aren't sure, should I go into this program? I'm like, look, I made it so it's the perfect experiment. You experiment with the program, you go through two months, let me and my team and, and my uh, business partners mentor you for two months. If it doesn't work, we'll send you your money back. Like that's the, because most experiments, just so you know, will not have a money back guarantee. First time I invested in real estate, I remember. I bought a house in Raleigh, North Carolina, and I was like, oh man. And I forget what the house was. It was probably, it wasn't that expensive a house. I think I remember the street it was on. It was like, it wasn't Laurel Cherry. That, I, it was, uh, I actually can't remember. I remember where it was. It was near Crabtree Mall, for all of you who know um, Raleigh, North Carolina. And it was like $260,000 or something. And I had to, me and my business partner, I didn't have any money to put down, but he said he put the money down. And I would rent it out. Like, I would live there. So I actually lived in this house. It's funny. I only lived there for like six months. But it was a cool house. And I was going, wow, this is scary. 200 grand. And there was no money back guarantee. If we bought that piece of real estate and we couldn't rent it out or we couldn't resell it, we could lose conceivably 100,000, 200,000, I mean, probably not realistically unless you burnt the house down and forgot to have insurance, but it was scary. And so for some of you, this little program that you can get into for under $200 is freaking you out. And I'm telling you, the you have to recalibrate your brain. You're a little bit dramatic. This is under $200. You experiment with something new that has a money back guarantee. How can you go wrong? I, mean, I don't know how you go wrong. Theoretically, you could go through the program and you're like, well, I spent time going through the videos. Well, they're going to benefit you even if you get your money back. That I'm sure. The only person who can get hurt is me. My lawyers to this day tell me I should not have a 100% money back guarantee. They always tell me, Ty, in California, legally you have to have a three-day refund. They're like, just do three days. They're like, college doesn't do refunds. You know, they're like, why do you have to do real estate doesn't do refunds? I mean, real estate gives you like a three-day or depending on what state you get a little bit. But... Okay, I'm gonna read a few more names. Any last question? Reginald June, congratulations. Laurecio Fernandez, Azu Damrilli, Jacob Booth here. He did the full pay. Guillermo Reynosa, Pat Patel, Timothy Cochran, Stevie Crawford, Edgar Cutron Garcia, Daniel Haywood. Oh, no, I already read that one. Sorry. Christopher Smith. Azim Amin. Where are you at, Azim? There, there's some dropshipper kids I know in Dubai that are making so much money. I'm not even going to say on here because I promise you no one here would believe it. It's a kooky number. They're under 21. They're making like... Name what's a kooky amount of money to make from a business. Somebody say... There was a, there was, uh, at my last conference on my Snapchat, a lot of you saw this dad brought his two sons, one is 16 and one's 18, and they made 500 grand drop shipping while they're in high school. Four million, Benjamin says, dude, these kids are making more than four million in Dubai. 25 million a month, uh, less than that. That's a month. They're making more than 25 million a year. 10 million, are you guys talking about it? Let's do annual. What would be a crazy amount annual? 100 million. I think they're doing a little less than 100 million. But they're like 19. Yeah, 50 million. I think they're doing something like 50 million. It's hard to verify sometimes how much money our people are making. Sometimes people lie and blah, blah, blah. But they're making bank. Somebody, OST, said 50 grand would be a lot to him. So the money's there. I think Amazon is selling $400 million a day worth of stuff. Or half a billion a day, almost. So take a little chunk out of Amazon. You can sell on Amazon. You can make your own Amazon on Shopify, ClickFunnels. Sell stuff that's around you. Sell this beanie. Become an expert in pens. Make a pen review site. Sell expensive pens. Hot sauce. This is a poppin' business, boy. People love hot sauce. If you want to create your own product, it's a little more complicated. Get your mom's favorite recipe. There's a guy. You guys see that hot sauce that I post a lot of times? in my food pictures on Snapchat, that guy doesn't pay me a penny. But I apparently I've made him so much money from promoting it 
because he has good hot sauce. He made me my own bottle. I don't know if you guys saw it. He has his own brand that he gave to me. He didn't have my face on it, but it's a, he made me a custom order one. The point being, that dude, I think he's making about $10 million a year selling hot sauce out of Texas. And he sells it online and he sells it in stores. You can do both. So hot sauce, big money maker. LaCroix, big money maker. You know how much it costs you to do water brand? This water probably costs them three cents and the can's probably 15. 18 cents, they sell this for a dollar. What else we got? Candles is a good business, man. I know a guy, a guy came to visit me from Germany about two years ago. And I was at this conference and they had an after party and we went back to this party in Hollywood and I talked to him uh, for like two hours. I think he was making about a million dollars a month doing candles. And what he was doing, he was doing a free candle, like if you signed up and then, I forget how it was, but it was a free trial. It wasn't a trial, it was like a free <laughs> bonus set. So people, he would lose money the first month because he would ship you like 10 candles for like $10 or something. And he would lose like 50 bucks. But then people would come back, repeat buyers, and he was making, I think he was making a million a month. Maybe a, it was more than a million a year. But candles, dude, like candles, that's like candles. I don't know, I don't know how to make it easier than the word candles. Chocolate, I'm getting ready to get in this business. Chocolate, one of the most addictive things, coffee. Exotic coffee box. You go and you create a coffee te uh, review website. You create use Shopify, ClickFunnels, and YouTube. You review different coffee. You build up a small following on social media. You start out making an extra hundred bucks a month. These look good. I'm gonna eat one of these while we're premium baking chips. I need some energy. You can do better. Although this is dark chocolate. This would taste good in a cookie. Um, what else do we have? Clothing. Is great. There's a guy, Fashion Nova. He started his own fashion brand. You've probably seen it on Instagram. I think he's making like three or four hundred million bucks a year. That's a lot. Three or four hundred million. Kylie Jenner built the quickest, biggest company in history. It's doing, uh, she did 430 million in 18 months and she's under 21. It's insane. It makes me laugh. Like, She's like faster than, she grew faster than L'Oreal, Maybelline, all that kind of stuff. They're shaking in their boots, man. Ty, you're supposed to let them melt in your mouth. Ty, I've built houses for my mom and I've met Kobe Bryant so I can do business with him. Okay. What else is this? Oh, new chocolate. Woo! You want some? Yeah. Steve, Adrian loves food. He's instantly goes, yes. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get off here. I'm gonna keep this up for 15 minutes. Giveaway. Oh, let me do a giveaway. Click the link or go. Damn, we just talked a lot of stuff. Where is this bad boy? Oh, here. Man, this is good. This is stevia, not sugar. Tylopez.com slash online income. Ty, stop eating chocolate. No. One of the reasons you can become an entrepreneur, when you make your own money, you can do whatever you want. If you want to go on your live stream and eat chocolate, you can eat chocolate. You don't have to be someone else's bitch. <laughs> I'm serious. I mean, a lot of people, that's the number one thing, the reason I became an entrepreneur, by the way. Oh, this is my piece. Adrian, Adrian, you literally watched that chocolate drop like when I dropped food with my two German Shepherds. She's like, no. That's yeah, still good. Ty, do you sleep? Yes, sir. Eight hours, man. All this stuff about sleeping less than eight hours, it's not smart. Now, a few people, Arnold Schwarzenegger, I got to interview him. I was at his house. He told me he only, always only needed five hours of sleep. But here's my answer to you. You ain't damn Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know what, Arnold Schwarzenegger is a freak of nature. The man at 18, he, he, he won seven Mr. Universes by 26. So yes, if you've won seven Mr. Universes and have special genetics, feel free to sleep five hours a day. The rest of regular human beings, 
If you're LeBron James, you can do special stuff. But you ain't LeBron James because you wouldn't be watching this right now. If you're on, if you're LeBron James, LeBron James, I don't know what you'd be doing. He signed a hundred million dollar Nike contract. He's probably in the gym right now. So, anyway, um, eight hours of sleep. Some people I think can do seven. A lot of people need nine, man. A lot of people need nine. I read an interesting book on that. This book said the average person needs nine. So. Hi, most surprising human you know? Hmm, who's the most surprising human I know? Surprising in what way? Like Charles Manson, like mass murderer? I don't know Charles Manson, by the way, but he's dead now. Who's the most surprising person I know, Adrian? Um, yeah. Zach That's Cookman, good. somebody yeah. said. My friend <laughs> Zach. Um... Dwight Schrute from The Office, Rain Wilson, I know him. Beats Bears in Battlestar Galactica. How about that? Elon Musk, I don't know him that well. I've had interesting conversations with Elon Musk, but I wouldn't say he's a friend of mine. I just talk to him, we go to the same events. Who else do I know that's interesting? Well, I mean, I, I just lift off, list off names. Akon, OT Genesis, yeah, there you go. rap Kevin Hart. I, but I'm, Kevin Hart is somebody also I don't know that well. I just, we go to the same things, but T.O. football, I don't know, I know Tom from MySpace, that's a freaking kind of bizarre person yeah. to know, when I was, I remember back in 2006, then you wanted to meet a girl in Los Angeles, MySpace, dudes were sitting there on MySpace, you know that he told me, at the peak, 10% maybe more of the entire internet activity was on his website in the world like it was i think it was 20 percent, and you know what most of that was dudes trying to <laughs> myspace girls that's pretty much where and he told me it's an interesting thing remember i told you about visualizing when he built myspace he was in the mode of um he was in the mode of building a dating site. But he said, people don't want to go on a dating site. So he named it MySpace, a place for friends. So people could pretend they were just there for friends. But they, I mean, you should go watch my interview with them. It's fa he said at the end, off camera, he said, Ty, you just got things out of me that nobody in this world knows. I never told anybody. So it's a little free thing. All right, I'm gonna get off, I'm gonna give away this thing, and then I'm gonna keep it up since I talk, keep talking longer. I'm gonna keep this up for 20 minutes for all of you who need enough time to get in the program. For those of you who did get in, congratulations. You got the it factor, now you got a blueprint. Now you're gonna be getting the mentoring. Now it's more on you, the it factor. I want you to have that. It's deep within most people. It's buried by the school system, it's buried by the government, but it's there, it's there. People go, oh, where does confidence come from? Where does charisma come from? It's there. People are ruined as little children. That's my, I think humans, the human brain of even a dumbest person you know is better than basically any supercomputer in the world. There's, they've never been able to replicate even the dumbest person you've ever met's brain. So even the dumbest person that we meet has massive computational power. And so you gotta draw out the it factor that's deep within you around being a self-starter, around being motivated, you know, about somebody who doesn't procrastinate, about someone who doesn't get discouraged as much as the average person. Remember, you can still procrastinate sometimes. You can still be discouraged. You can still be human. I told you, 51%. If you're 51% better than the average person, you'll be doing good. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm gonna give away a mentor box too. Can you grab that yeah. under there? So I'm gonna give away an extra giveaway. That was a good idea. This is a company, that one that I showed you that's doing about 900,000 a month. So it'll be free branding and free we'll show giveaway. Them in there. I'm not gonna open this. It has two books, worksheets, memory tools. Let's give this away first, then I'll give away this. So we'll send you one mentor box, absolutely free. We actually have a new box design coming out too. That's cool. What does that say? What the hell? Oh, that is a mentor box. It looked like, man, that camper turned it around insane. Look at that. 
It looks like it's Russian. Zokpragma. Okay, so we're gonna mail this to you. The question is, how many factor, how many external factors of success did I say there was? How many external factors? I said there was one internal factor, the it factor. Someone said seven. No. Someone said Ty Lopez is the most powerful Filipino in the world. I am zero <laughs> Filipino, by the way. <laughs> I did my DNA, I have 0% Asian, and I'm 0% Middle Eastern. Sometimes people wonder if I'm Middle Eastern or Greek. I'm not. Pretty much German, mostly. But I look like my dad. I do not look German. I know. I'm like 61% German. I'm 6% black. I am 9% Native American. I'm 1% Swedish. I'm 5% English. I'm Italian. I'm Spanish. So that's what I am. Okay, There's four one minute is wrong. On Insta. Okay, let's go. What do we got? I gotta do a race. There, McDarkon two is the answer. All right, let's give away this MacBook before it ends here. The question is, what are, what is one of the three factors of success that I said? What is one of the three? Hey Ari. I see you out there from Norway, rapper. Okay, what are the three fact? Name one of the three factors. What are they? One of the three factors, self-education was not one that I said. Patience was not one, visualization, nope. It factor right there. The oldie goodie on Instagram. We're sending you this laptop, the it factor. Thanks so much. I'll keep this up for 20 minutes. Go to this link here or go to the link in the caption. And uh, congratulations to all of you who got in the test group. Okay. All right, let's cut. Cutting. Camouflage. Cutting. 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 Cutting.